top of the morning, people. As always, have a blessed day. Live it to the fullest and make it all count. And I promise tomorrow, be about your money, your marathon, and your manhood at all costs. Peace and love. Yes, sir. It's Westside Wednesdays, the G Lou Show, Blog Talk Radio, OG Music, <laughs> you know. G Lou Queen Jean, so fresh, so clean. Yes, sir. It's G Lou, throwing up the W for Westside Wednesdays. No, not to trouble you. Back up in it on the scene with Queen Jean. No me, but keep a whole lot of good green. Too clean, never do a half ass. Gotta say rest in peace to the homie badass. On smash, do the shit the flyway. 110 East, blowing gas on the highway. I stay with a blog talk radio every single Wednesday. That's the only way to go. Where the Rosecrans, Broadway, and Slauson. You can find an OG like me flossing. With the West Side Car Club, Brick City made on the black Cadillac when I park. Cause show me love, but don't show me shit. In the words of the big homie DJ Quick, ain't nothing like black pussy on my dick. When I stay Stand up in it like a candlestick. We make hits for you to bang this shit. Got my own station, so you know I'm gonna play this. Every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, no, we right here at the G Loop Show. Every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, no, we right here at the G Loop Show. You know, it's Westside Wednesday, the G Loop Show. Every Wednesday night, 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific. 10 to 12 Eastern. G. Lou with the lovely Miss Queen Jean. Queen Jean, what up? Yeah. Sponsored by BTP Media Group. 93.3 FM is OG Music and the West Side Car Club. Come on. Come join us every Wednesday night. Where they doing it at? And you do know that. Rest in peace, badass. Wednesday to G. Lou show. I am G. Lou. I got my lovely co-host Queen Jean with me. We got a special edition for you tonight. We got the homeboy Pat Poops from the legendary roots of the underground straight out of the EPA, East Palo Alto, California, man. And uh, he's in the green room coming up next. I'm going to bring Queen Jean in right after this. Let me get some things situated. We'll be right back. Westside Wednesdays, 914-803-4001. Roots from the Underground, live. We'll be right back. Met this little hoe, yep, just the other day. Had to run a mate to see what's up on that floor play. She was not down at the light, she was shy. Me playing hound, sticking around, I'm not the guy. So me being free, past the dishes, I was with it. Hopefully she patched me later on so we could kick it. Your baby was a cutie, had a smile that gave me the chills. She had a missing link in her life that I could fulfill. But I was at pass, then I got a page. Go on my gear, tighten up the fade. Headed out the door, had to cock my nine. Niggas in the street still tripping off mines. Everything was going pathetic, said peace to my mom. Sit in the chair of all the stuff, I got the bomb. Now it's time to come to see friends for the night. I rock the baby house, she stepped out looking tight. She bailed them all, call your little girl, whoa, ho. It's up to 10 o'clock, it's sweet and sugar, shall we go? She said, the night just won't be right without the deck height. I ain't tripping on the dog, the boy, you won't tight. I had the deck, so we was out to the high low. She already let it be known tonight, she's my house. So I'm on my way to get a taste of the whip of pillin'. Bitchy that the share, but baby, don't I'm fight the feeling. Open up your legs, sweet things, and let me feel it. Have to let the front seats down so I can kill it. I'm in it, sticking it. I don't know how she feel. She said she found a thrill, had a taste of sweet sensation. I'm bound up with heels. Oh, you had it good on the heel. But let me tell you how I do it when I want to chill. Went to a theater to see some feature. That's when I seen tough, the lovely black creature. She was on tight, had a friend that was tight too Stared for a minute and caught that eye, she was with it So I started to walk and come closer to the female The closer I got, the more I took it to her smell Cause I couldn't act like the guy, I need to close up Didn't bring nobody up here with me, see I'm solo So I started to make it kinda easy to the front door She was with the station, so she was ready to go It was about 10, or maybe even 
ten ten going through my mind was I gotta get the black skin these burger paradise shit that's on my mind pulling up my people to give a tickle on the spine she was looking good over yet and still I got my Jimmy cause I ain't the one to get play like Denny she hopped in we headed out to the paradise she didn't think once I didn't think twice yeah we took a whole cheetah up to the cheeseburger on the untouched by the chicken hoes about the undercover level check the second girl to the pineapple still go that with us up a little they gon' get it I'm sticking it again and again at the tent again and again Cause I'm attracted to the black skin Oh, try to front the button Put it on the boots When the brother getting loose And knock the boots until they loose Then I feel them full of boots Get the pineapple juice Then I dive to the section With the fishing on the loop You know I got to have it So gonna let me grab it I see you start to giggle But I'm nothing you can laugh at With them all up in it You know I'm not gonna quit it The pineapple heels You see, that's where we headed So let it all down And let me in squeeze Stop your fighting and your gutting Cause you're getting just a tease I'm not really your passion It's just up and I can boot Not to even fall in love Because of my underground roots Let it Oh, touch my left with the butt, yes, yeah, don't drop But not too quick because you're slipping with the dirty curl So the TV never the beating from the punch, yeah But y'all be tripping, think I'm slipping because I'm young, yeah But it's pop, boom, surprise, they can hold the pineapple heel, boy The TV ain't nothing nice Lovely co-host, the lovely Miss Queen Jean. Good evening, Queen. Good evening, G. Lou. How are you? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty well, as far as I could tell. How are you this evening? What's going on in Queen's world? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Just chilling. Looking forward to this interview. Um, getting to, <clears throat> excuse me, get some information on our guests. That's yes, about yes. it. That's right. That's I right. Say, um, well, since <clears throat> oh, go ahead. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I just wanted to say rest in peace to uh, Pop Smoke, the young rapper who Smoke. was, um, yeah, murdered this morning. And also to Jeanne Dubois from um, Good Times. So rest Good in times. peace to both of them. Yes, I just wanted to put that out there. Yes, okay, yes, yes. Rest right in peace for their both families. Those. Yes. 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 Thank you for putting that out there, Queen. Uh, rest in peace once again, like she said, to the homeboy Pop Smoke. T- Pop Smoke, a youngster, man. Um, Very young, only 20 years old. Uh, very young, man. Uh, was on his way to do big things. You know, I didn't know too much about him, but I was hearing his name. And, um, you know, he's getting a lot of love out there. Cat from New York uh, uh, was in the L.A. area when this happened, you know, um, and it's very tragic and unfortunate we lost another black young male uh senselessly you know uh from gun violence and um it's just been a rough past year man um losing a lot of young brothers man very young you know that's that's the sad part about a lot of these brothers are very young losing their lives out here man um in the midst of this craziness going on out here man so rest in peace you know again to the homie pop smoke uh, thoughts and condolences are with his family, friends, and everybody who supported him, his fans, and everybody that had love for him, man. Rest in peace. And also to uh, Janae Dubois uh, from Good Times, uh, Miss Malona. You know what I mean? Um, uh, wow. You know, so uh, with that being said, uh, we're not going to start off, you know, somber. Yeah, we're sad, not going to you know, elaborate, you know, let it dominate the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, so... Uh, 
what we're going to do now, man, is uh, get to this show we got tonight. see a lot of people checking in already. Thank you for joining us tonight, everybody out there. Shout out to our sponsors, BTP Media Group, the homie Jeff Kwan. Makes it all happen. 93-point tweet FM. Ism, skip, skip, towing. D.D. Harrison, our thoughts are with you as well. Um, and um, OG Music. Um, Queen, uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce our guest? Okay, let's uh, bring in to bring our guests from out of the green room, Papoos from the underground roots. Welcome to the show, sir. Excited to have you here. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Shout out Westside Radio. What up, love one? How you doing tonight? What's up with it, man? I'm in the building, man. Feeling myself. You feel me? <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. As That's you right, should. man. It's an honor. <laughs> Yeah, as you should, bro, Absolutely. as you should. You got to feel yourself. You got to love yourself. Bring that good energy for Absolutely. us tonight, man, because we're looking forward to this, Absolutely, man. Great man. energy. man, you know, rest in peace yeah. to the homie, man, and the lady, man, you know, and, you know, prayers up in the air, man. I'm, I'm, I'm You know, we're going to turn this the right way, man, and, and we still going to push it for them, man. We out here, man. We're going to push this for them, man, you know? Okay. That part, that part, that part. Hey, um, Papoose, man, uh... Why don't you go ahead and formally introduce yourself to our audience out there across the whole wide world because they're listening right now. Uh, tell them who you are, man, and, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about Papoose, you know what I mean, uh, Roots from the Underground for the people who may not know or the people who just may have forgot because, you know, you, you're a legend. You know, you go like 20, 25 years back, you know, so just just open them up to what's going on and who you are and what we got going on tonight. All right. I'm Papoose. <clears throat> From East Palo Alto, California, Bay Area, born and raised. Um, been doing this all my life, man. You know, old school with it. You know, was raised on that that West Coast radio music, man, and that Bay Area Bay life music, man. And you know about that life at that age, you know. So I was spitting that raw to him, man. I was just telling him my story and. What happened on my street and the next door neighbor house, you know, throughout the album, you know, and that's how I was feeling. And, you know, about that life back in them days, man. So, you know, back then, that's what it was. It was a lot of that, a lot of that gangster music, man. A lot of that. A lot of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Us telling our story and, you know, trying to be heard. I come from, me, myself, I was beatboxing when the Fat Boys was beatboxing. You know what I'm saying? When we okay. had... You know, one artist and and a, a, a hype man and a, and, a, and somebody beating on their chest to make the beat, and you know everybody else was just a crowd, and then it turned into right. you know everybody's an artist now. So it got a little bit saturated. Right. Shout out to the young cats though, man, because you know right now I hear a lot of we don't mess with the young, the youngsters ain't respecting the OGs and. You know, shout out to the youngsters, man. They they turn to the different way. They getting their money. You know what I'm saying? They they getting their so money. So the OGs can't That's be right. That's you what know, they it, are doing. They getting that money. Right, yeah. and it's a separation. Yeah. It's more entertainment than it is rap music or hip hop. It's entertainment. They found their lane, man. Shout out to the youngsters, man. You know. That's right. That's right. Hey, um. Tell us this quickly. Then I'm going to take this call. We usually don't take calls this early, but I got I think somebody checking in from Vegas wants to holler at you. But uh, uh, tell us, man, briefly about the origins of uh, Roots from the Underground. And also, you know, school to people about where, you know, the part of the Bay you come from, EPA. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't get a lot of recognition. It does for the people who know, and, uh, you know, from that area. But the people outside of, you know, that that, that uh, particular area – who may not know. So school us a little bit about the, the, the origins of Roots from the Underground and East Palo Alto, you know, for the people who may not okay. know. What, what is that? Or, or, you know, you know. East Palo Alto is 2.2 square miles of pure realness. You know, it's, a, it's the, it, to me, it, it's the unsung soul of the bank. You know, it's like... Right. Uh, Everywhere we go, you know, we're known, you know what I'm saying? And it's for a reason because we real with it over here. It's not like nobody else is fake or nothing, but it's so small and it's so congested and everybody know everybody's story. You can't come out on the block with them lies and, you know, everybody know your story, you know what I mean, over here. So East Palo Alto is um, 
small town in the Bay Area that's surrounded by other, uh, let's say, suburban neighborhoods until you get about 20 miles out. Then you hit Frisco, you hit Oakland, you know what I'm saying? You hit Richmond, you know. So we out on the West Bay, you know, all to right. ourselves over here. And uh, it was it's, it's real. it was real tough out here. It was the murder capital at one time. I lost a lot of friends. I, I got hit in the back in that, you know. Uh, been through a lot of things out here, man. Rest in peace, huh? To the homies that's gone and those that's in the pen could be listening, you know, shout out. Um, and um, that's where Roots from the Underground kind of came from. Roots from the Underground, it's like, we're going to tell you the truth. This is where the story come from. This is what it really is. It's, you know, we, we was raised on that NWA, rocking with that. And so we wanted to just tell our story without any commas and quotes. You know what I'm saying? Just, just right, read right. the whole message. You know what I'm saying? At once. And here, here it is, right? But it's it's coming from somebody who was living that life, though. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who was right. really about that life. You know, nowadays it ain't, it's a little more saturated. These, these cats, is, you know, you, they different. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. in my era, you know, uh, it was a little different. I lost a lot of people. And so when I'm spitting them lyrics, they come from the heart, dog. You know what I'm saying? They come from people I seen get shot or I was or I was involved or this and my homie that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's it's real right. shit. You know what I'm saying? So excuse my French, but yeah. You know and nah, so you can say what- Yeah, East Palo Alto is is that right there and anybody about for that from any neighborhood, even if they had bumped heads with somebody from East Palo Alto, they still gonna tell you all oh, them some real cats right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing right. like about them, man. And and being so small, you know, you had to put a, 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 a damp on wherever you went. You had to be you had to be heard. You had to you didn't want to be stepped on, you know. So right. we carried our weight, you know, anywhere we went, you know what I'm saying? We just we carried our weight. And anywhere we go, we, we show love. It ain't like we walk around acting all like this and that. We just, you know, we, we rock like we rock, man. It's just that bass swag all day. It's the bass swag. It's like I said, it's the unsung, you know, part of the bass. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, you know, right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. The I, I can personally say, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Now you go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was gonna just just uh, say me personally, man. I really like love that first album that you guys put out. And you know what I mean. You can hear the hungriness and and just the just the like you said the the uh, the influences from NWA and that 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 gangster mu- music type shit. Cause that's 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 the feel you got from that album. You know what I mean. It was just all raw G funk, like the Absolutely. like the first single I just played. You know what I mean. It was just it was just that yeah. that rawness that you know we definitely don't get anymore. But even in that time, yeah. you got it rare, like raw like that you know what i mean and real funky right, you know right. what i mean and I, I i was telling just uh somebody else who was on there too man just early on the bay uh, uh you know how it kind of moved later to like a a a, a certain kind of bay had its own sound but but early on like right. you amw like all these cats really was kicking right. that g shit like early though i really appreciated right. that early music all you guys put out man because it was really on some right. on some on some of that you know what i mean Right, right, so I right. I really miss it. that. I miss that. I miss that. That's why. I, that's why I got. Well, I haven't really never left the scene, but I kind of got reinvented and I'm back involved in it a little bit now. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I'm missing that. A lot of people missing that in a certain kind of way. Not the same, but right. kinda. You know. <clears throat> and back then, man, it was fun too, though. Don't get it. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of fun. It was hard work. It was a lot harder. It was a lot harder. Right. <laughs> it was a lot harder to, right, to right, get up right. in that studio and pay that time and, uh, and do all of that stuff. Nowadays, it's, niggas at home doing their thing. But, yeah, 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 the music came from, you know, you hear a little bit of that. P.A.P.'s going murder one. That's like a, a <laughs> that's that come from the D.O.C. flavor, like the formula type of, you know, Sean T on all the tracks. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, eating the Eating though on the beats though. I mean, way back then, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You got songs on there like Niggas vs. Cops. I mean, come on, yeah. man. We lived through those eras, yeah, yeah. you know, and it's still here. You know what I mean? We had all right. and man, buck shots and the, the treatment, and you know, it had some real hits. Yeah. Squares want to be players. We shot a video to that. With now I remember the Massacre. Yeah, that's square. Yeah, that was hard. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nine millimeter mask is one of my favorites. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had some shots. Yeah. Yeah. I had a lot of hits the on there, ghetto. man. I, I, the ghetto. The ghetto. We're talking some real shit on that's, there. That's, Come on, man. What a lot of people don't know is my boss is my brother. That's my blood brother. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, and during the album, he was really in and out the penitentiary, like for real. We couldn't perform because he was in a pen. <laughs> He'd come home right. to go back to the pen. He was really out there like that. So, you know, the ghetto, we wanted to shoot a video to it, but he ended up going back to the pen. But that's one of my favorite tracks on there with G Man yeah, standing on the hook. Too. Yeah, with G Man standing on the hook. Shout out to G Man Stan. Yeah. yeah, we had him on here yeah. uh, a few weeks ago. Shout out to G Man. That's my guy right there, man. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yep, yep. yeah, absolutely. Classic. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, gee, yes, yes. Yeah. Been on everybody. Um, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. Let me ask you this, man. Uh, coming from EPA, uh, uh, like you said, you really had to really, you know, really be real with what you were saying and speaking because niggas would know if it wasn't, you know what I mean, being that you were so small. But on top of that, was it hard early on for for, for artists from EPA? Because you're not the only. It was a uh, few artists from EPA that made their mark. But was it hard, like... Uh, Getting the respect from the rest of the areas, man, from from, from the from the town and uh, and Frisco and all these surrounding areas coming out of EPA. Not at all, not at all. One okay. thing that was I don't know how <clears throat> like Frisco and Oakland might get down back in them days. They they kind of you know they had their little beefs or whatnot, you know. Um, but when we presented our music and came with it, man, they, they just rock with us. We was always accepted. You know what I'm saying? We was always, we, we are here. We not even being accepted. Ain't even the right language, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we, the, we are this, we are this, you know what I'm saying? And you can't do nothing but accept that. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't, we wasn't asking to be accepted. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you, you should, this is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's how we was right. accepted. You know what I'm saying? In the long run. Yeah, they, you know, they rock with us. We never had no hatred. Totally insane. You know, they pushed their music off. They had RBL Posse on there. You know, you know, the Oakland Cats on there. You know, I, Pooh Man is a good friend of mine. I knew Too Short when I was growing up, when he was first posting up right. his posters. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, it was right. always love, man. You know, we do so we support each other, but we don't support each other like we should. Mhm. You know? Right, I think right. We could support right. each other a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's all good. You know, we got love, you know what I'm saying? Band-Aid, Hood Stars, you know, Scoot Dog, all them. Everybody push their music, man. We accept it everywhere we go, man, because it's just that realness. It's 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 not right. we're not asking to be accepted you know what i'm saying it, it, it is what it is <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's it that's you right know? and that's hey you know that's what these fell out so made you know that's right hey let me ask you this who did you uh you know coming up before the group was formed before you was doing your thing you go back to beatboxing so obviously you go way back and with hip-hop you know so you could have a number of people that inspired you but who who was it, you know, coming out of EPA or just anywhere around the area that really inspired you or not that inspires you, to, but that you really, really liked, like, like, like coming up as an MC, you really respected or, or not even took something from them, but just maybe patterned something or just, just like that was your guy coming up or guys coming up, you know, uh, uh, before you dropped. Out of my own hood. Or just, just anywhere. It could be from, yeah, really coming from EPA, anybody in that area or surrounding area that you really, you know, that inspires you somewhat. Out of my own hood, I go so far back, I would have to say somebody like Prozac, X-Rated back okay. then. His name was X-Rated, Prozac. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was doing his thing. He was a character with it. But I loved his motivation. I loved how he spit that music and Back then, I was so young, you know, I had a lot of inspiration from a lot of different people because what a lot of people, you know, don't know is that I am from all over the Bay because of misplacement, you know, growing up as right. an adolescent, going through that kind of stuff. So I lived in Hunters Point. I lived on seminary. We mm -hmm. BS to the side. You know what I'm saying? So... 
coming from all those different kind of places at such a young age and going way back like that, my inspiration, uh, it didn't necessarily come from my hood. But in my hood, there was a lot of inspiration. You had X-Ray, you had Sean T, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm rapping right beside niggas like the hood stars. You know what I'm saying? I'm in there right. beatboxing and, and moving around in school with niggas that's doing things now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But my inspiration go back to the Rock Him. You know what I'm saying? My inspiration is before Tupac. You know what I'm saying? My inspiration came before all of that because Tupac was coming up when I was coming up. When you, you know, came our up, music right, right, was being right. compared to Tupac's music. Right. You know what I'm saying? In a lot of places, so. You know, when we was coming up, our music was already being compared to Dog Pound. We was riding side by side, you know, with our group, you know, Murder One Records and Death Row and all. So my inspiration came from way back before that. You know what I'm saying? I love D40 with the, uh, when he plugged us on a uh, flamboyant and said, East Palo Alto, Sacramento. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I go way back mm-hmm. there, you know, with the inspiration from my local, but no, somebody from my hood, you know, me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But not out to all my niggas, though. You know what I'm saying? But I was already established, you know what I'm saying? Kind of, you know, because I'm a little older than that. You know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, yeah. Yeah, I really okay. Did. Yeah, I just want some background on some of your inspirations, you know, uh, you know, coming up. But like again, you go way back from damn near the beginning right. of the shit. So you're like, right. you know, you had a lot of inspiration. I'm sure it wasn't nobody just particularly that inspired you. Right. Um. Um. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Then let me take this call. I know they're waiting on me. Um. Um. Tell us briefly about Murder One Records, man, and how you got down with them, and and um, what impact Murder One had, you know, back in the day. Murder One Records was the shit. <laughs> man, I wish I could relive them days. Pedro Membrano, man. You know, shout out to Nar, Pat, dude. You know, D5, Sean T, Chun, you know, Chaos, you know. Yeah, we was a clique, man, and everybody was getting the bag back then. The bag was there, man. You know, we had bags back right. then, man, and we was... We was moving around, man, and rubbing shoulders, man, and, you know, um, he was really trying to really do some good stuff, man. We was spending a lot of money on videos, you know, trying to push that music real good. We was independent, you know. We didn't know the business like we should have back then. I mean, people like Master P, this, the, this you know, Master P was, you know, like, yo, Sean T, Poos, yo, Pedro, let's hook up. Uh, no Limit, Get Gone Records. I mean, uh, No Limit and Murder One Records. This is before we even created Get Gone Records. This is when we right. was just Murder One. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then, you know, that didn't work out like it was supposed to, but, and then Priority was calling Sean T, like, come sign with us. And, you know, Pedro didn't want to let him go. So it was a few little mix up, man. But, you know, because of that, things broke up. You know, we, you know, the producer went his way. You know, the money went its way and niggas got back to hustling. But it was a beautiful thing, man, at the moment, man. It was a beautiful thing, man. It was sort of like we could have blew up like the rock, you know, but the love don't never right, go right. nowhere. See, that, that's one thing that's for sure. The, the love don't never go nowhere, even though niggas went their own ways or whatever. I still mess with Sean. Everybody still got love. It's just whatever we created at the moment is still in that moment, and that's where we left it at. You know what I'm saying? But we still pushing. You know, it's, it, it, you know right. on our own. You know, absolutely. Yes, yes. That's right. That's right. That's what's up. Um, 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 damn, I'm going to ask you something. Let me go to this uh, call right quick. We got Vegas checking in. 702, what up with it? Hi. Hey, 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 what's up? How are you? Hi. So this, I'm doing great. Uh, my name is Deja. I'm actually... Jean's um, granddaughter. I was just calling in to say hi to everyone. Oh, okay. And your podcast okay. is amazing. I love this podcast. I wow. listen to it. Um, and I like how you guys interview, like, your interactions with the music that you guys play. So I'm just really feeling right. this vibe you guys got going on. Wow. Thank okay, you. Thank sure. you. <laughs> Queen hi, is there. Anna. How are you? I am doing great. How are you? Good. Thank you for calling in. We appreciate you. 
And I love you. I love you. I love you dearly. <laughs> okay. Say hello yes, to our girl, Papoose. Oh, hi. How are you? Yes. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for calling in. Absolutely. All is well. I actually just moved to the Bay, so I'm now experiencing this new music that you guys got up here. Oh, yeah. The Bay is rocking, man. The Bay is rocking. Absolutely. It's a lot of our hitters out here now. Yeah, absolutely. The Bay is rocking. Check out that Sean T and Pat Poos, Just a Reaction, new single out. Check that out. That's rocking. Okay, I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> Have a good right. evening, Deja. Right, we, yeah. we appreciate you, Deja. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Spread the word, please. Definitely. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Much love. Hey, that's love right there. That's love, Queen. That's love. That's that's love. Yeah. Right that's there, Deja. I love her with family. <laughs> yeah, call, man. Ain't nothing like that right there. Respect the Queen. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm over here cheesing, hey, hey, too. Queen. She surprised me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. You got any questions for uh, Papoos? Well, I was going to ask him about G-Man, but he brought that up. But um, just to piggyback off of it, because we did do a interview with him, and G-Lu also did, has a podcast on our podcast show. Um, the vibe that I got from him, that he's just a very modest, um, a modest man, can you elaborate on that? Is he modest? How is it just working with him? And Man, this guy is, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, the amount of education that's in that man's head is priceless. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and what he can mm-hmm. do with his fingers is just, it, it's crazy. You know, what he do with music is he's underrated to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I often tell him that. I tell him that. And I tell people that who I see who got this amazing, amazing talent, and I just feel like you should be at the Grammys, and you should just be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's him. He's very humble, very, yes. very humble, very a family, family-structured man. You know, welcome you in his home, get you a cup of coffee, sit down, enjoy yourself. He, he's real cool. He's real, real sociable. You know, he's a real cool guy. Man, I've been knowing him. 30 years, 25 years, you know what I'm saying? He's oh, okay. a real cool dude. Yeah, I'll call him, I'll call him Uncle Stan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's real cool. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he, was he, was, uh, yeah, he gave us a real good interview, and like I said, very modest, and as you stated, humble. He just seems like he's just real smooth with it, you know, just smooth. Right. Right. You know, that's how he uh, appears. And I just wanted to right. say, I listened to some of your music today, and I like Squares Wanna Be Players. <laughs> Squares Wanna Be Players. <laughs> you know, yeah, we it's, a lot, it's, a lot of that, it's a lot of that still going on. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of squares <laughs> that want to be players. I, you know, it, it trips me out. I heard it. I was like, you know. That still applies. That's that's like right. yeah, that's a lot of squares that want to be players. But I I was digging that joint <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one right there. Sean T on the track. Shout out to Sean because that is the yeah. uh, super producer. You know, yeah, absolutely. That one right there. We uh we first had we had first the original. Uh, me and Pedro fell out about this song. The first original was uh, Scoot Dog was on the track uh, featuring Scoot Dog. And um, he was an up-and-coming artist. He wanted to sign with Murder One at the time, and we did the song. And we wanted to do a video to the song. So me, you know, these guys is like 10 light years ahead of me. You know, Pedro and all of them, they, they so far ahead of me. I'm not even peeping game. I'm like, I want Scoot on this, on this. We're going to shoot the video to this song. And Scoot rapped on it. So why isn't Scoot going to be in a video? Because what he did is he remixed the song for the video. And I didn't, I wasn't up, I wasn't up on that game yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm young, you know. I'm like, what you mean you're going to remix it and put Chunk on it? And we gonna... So we fell out about the song and then we did the video anyway. Because, you know, at the time, you know. 
We did what we did, and it came out to be another hit. So we had two hits out of one song, but, uh, you know, I wasn't paying no attention to that back then. I was like, I want Scooter in the video. Scooter still got in the video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. But it was a remix. So it was two versions to the song. There's one on the album, and then there's a remix for the video. So, yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun back then. Squares want to be players. Shout out to Chunk. Shout out to Scoop Dog. It was a lot of fun. I lost a lost a few people that's in that video that's gone now. You know? Mm. Shout out to them. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, man. All right, yes, peace. Yes. Hey, um, hey, check this out. With that being said, man, let me go to this song right here. I want to play it a little bit later, but let me play it now. Squares want to be players, man. Um, uh, Papoose. Roots from the underground, man. Let's get it, homie. We'll be right back. <laughs> Let's get it. I'm better with the squares. That'll be perfect. Hold up into my mixing. Trying to gain the knowledge of my pippin'. So peak game, cause the game is finna be spit From the M dash B, murder O and D's my click Wake up fool, and recognize that G I've been a player, baby, since my mother birthed me So back up and bow down and listen as I clown I must be a G because I'm straight up off the G town Taste this choice, but my style can't be tasted Squares wanna be players, we got to terminate them So step up or run up, I'll leave my fingerprints up on your face Face to face with me, fool, your face death Best to act like you know who I be I told you before that I was suck a freak so I'ma lay it down once again for the fact up that the squares are the world's best known actors. Matter of fact, get the hell off my NUT because you get none of these. Please tell me what's next on the menu. I shall I continue? Enough has been said. Squares can't be played. Like them, they are squares. Want to live so badly like a player, but I dare them fools to perp like that. Act like they some jerks like that. Wouldn't pull the trigger to say they so ain't never held a strap, man. Sometimes I wonder who does all the dirt. The rippers in the town of the player hating squares down to put in work now. Somebody tell me what part of the game is that a fool wants to flex up on the army to save a little rat. That's good, black. You best to find your roots, my square partner. Think it's cool for you to lie and say you caught a hot one. Even the ladies know you fools ain't what's popping. Perping like a player, but you nothing but an imposter. You need to be yourself, fool, cause you up and walk down. Players get respect they deserve, but squares get clapped. M dash one, be identified as G. But squares are player haters, suckers and wanna be racist. Nothing but your average fake gangster. More squares than the saltine cracker is how I wreck you. And booze might be better. Try to say that's not fair, but that's what happens to squares that perp like they players. Of the gas, me, I figured that it has to be a mental disagreement. That proposed to suck to a cord like he's semen. Then I take a look at these suckers on the other side. Coming at one of these tablets, nobody never been down with a hoop ride. They the future in your front, acting like your top host. Squares wanna be players, cause they know what's players popping them out. You cannot be with two or not your mind is one at that go. Perpetration in the game would not get you too far, bro. You know, squares wanna be, check the theme. Me mugging me, cause you can't be down with the team. Girls love the taste of this, second study hating it. Player hating it, perpetrating it. Straight up faking it, this is for the G, so please don't try to be down, you clown. We be if that's what roots for the underground. Don't drop no mail for no hair lay. It's bay, but every day is like payday with you. So she say, ain't no way you can get by in the best disguise. So open your eyes, about time you recognize. I want to live the life like 
Making money, smoking mics like crackers on the low. How I live the life like Making money, smoking mics like crack like This is the original Los Angeles beat that I tweet Cadillac baby. And you tune in to the G Loop Show. West Side Wednesday. OG OG Sunday. We rolling the pip like Baby, 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 yeah, make sure to tune in every Wednesday night, 7 to 9 p.m., put some pimping in your life. Niggas wanna know how I live the black life, making money, smoking mics like crackers like a note. How I live the black life, making money, smoking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Kel Mac, the owner of all her publications, Kel Mac Video. I'm with G Lou on West Side Wednesday. Yes, sir. Westside Wednesdays, the G Lou Radio Show, sponsored by PTP Media Group 93, Tweed FM, Skip Skip, Towing, OG Music, DD Harrison. I'm back with our special guest, Papoose, from the underground, homie, the roots, where it all started. Yo. Hey, um, hey, Poose, man, um, you, you kind of answered it earlier, but let me kind of ask you more specifically uh, why was it only, why did we only get one album um, from the roots, the underground? At the time, my brother was going in and out the pen when we was doing the album, so it was kind of hard to perform. And then we got we got a distribution deal with City Hall, so things were picking up. And then my brother got locked up again, and he did a four-year stretch. Right after the album was done, right after we shot the video, he was out of there. So that's basically why we didn't get a roots from the underground album because it was a duel, you know what I'm saying? And so he kind of, right. you know, started doing this thing in life, you know, whatever. And that's kind of why it never came back together. But what people don't know is there is a unreleased chaotic root album that we call chaotic roots, me and chaos from murder okay. one records. We did an album together. And it's still unreleased. G Man, <laughs> he still got the album. We recorded at the studio. Mm-hmm. He still got everything. And but then Chaos kind of fell off the map. You know what I'm saying? He kind of disappeared. Whatever life happened, so that album never got released. But mm. the reason it wasn't a duel, uh, another uh, sequel of Roots from the Underground, which is a sad thing, I think, is because of my brother though, because you know he he went to the jailhouse and. Had to pay his dues and went on vacation. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So right, we can right. get that back together. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what happened with that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, but let me mm-hmm. ask you. Let me ask you this: Being that that happened, what's that? Ninety four, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five. Um, uh, what happens from this point on with you? Like, because at this point you're just taking off, and then at the same time the Bay is taking off. You know, around ninety five the Bay really took it. You know what I mean? It had this whole lane so the bay was popping at this time you know what i mean so so uh what happens with you when your brother goes to the pen the there's no sequel album i don't know what was going on with the label but where do you go from here as far as the music because you know the people didn't so, hear from you so, the, the outside so of that what, yeah so what i did is uh i linked up with sean t so i never really okay. stopped doing music it's just a lot of people is familiar more with the roots from the underground album but Right, I've done a lot of other music. Just I haven't put out my own album. I put out me and Sean put out the MOG. You know what I'm saying? Um, we put out the Can I Shine album. I've been on mm. numerous Sean albums. You know, um, I haven't never really stopped recording. You know, so I'm on a lot of. Like barrier players, I'm all over that. You know, back when it was putting mm-hmm. those out on all the little wh- whatever kind of CDs was coming out, I was still busting moves. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't put right. out a solo out. I got more behind behind Sean and trying to just figure out how we're gonna push Get Gone because then Sean started doing Get Gone records. 
So then I'm like, okay, let's do Get Gone. I'm with Get Gone. Let's do this. Let's do that. So we just put out a little music here and there and then Sean moved to Atlanta. So then in the meantime, in between time, life happened to me. Stopped recording for a couple of years. Mom's passed away, you know, things like that. But I haven't really mm-hmm. ever stopped recording. You know what I'm saying? I just took a break for a minute. You know, Sean kept doing his thing. I jump in the studio with him every now and then. I jump in, do a show, or I'm the hype man or something. You know, and I'm all I'm always involved. You know what I'm saying? I never right, really right. really went away. You know what I'm saying? I I was always making some noise. You know, I got you can press the button. It's it's it's, it's, it's stuff on YouTube right now. You know what I'm saying? It's gotcha. it's on every you know digital platform right now. You know, so you know now now. I'm kind of getting back more involved in it in the last couple of years. I've been, you know, stepping my game up, getting back on it, pushing the lyrics out there, moving around, seeing what's happening. I got a few singles out right now with Sean, you know what I'm saying, and Mr. Fab, and we got one with Devin, the dude, on the way out. So we moving, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, but in between that time, we did drop the MO, the MOG Still Exposed, you know what I'm saying? That was a hot album right there. That was a hot album. Uh, right. It was a hot album. We did a deal with uh, JT, the bigger figure on that one. And, uh, yeah, I kept moving around, man, you know, or, or linked in the music or doing some or somewhere involved behind the scenes. I never really stopped, you know, but now I just feel like doing music again. You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like writing. I got that edge to write. I want to write. I want to, you know, so... I'm back involved again. And we got a nice single out right now. Sean T and Papoose, Just a Reaction. That's out right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I got to I gotta bump that before we get out of here. Um, um, tell us also, man, being behind the scenes, working with Sean, it's a lot of, I'm sure, artists over the years. You got 30, almost 30 in. Tell us about some of the other, other artists that you help, uh, you know, uh, push forward and that you help that, 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 some of the people may know some of the names these days that, that but that you helped out early on or had a part man. of their uh, success. Man, <clears throat> man, <laughs> the list goes on and on, but let's just say, let's just say the game, you know what I'm saying? The game. Right. Um, yeah, he used to sleep on Sean couch for a while, man, that in a bad way, you know what I'm saying? But he was right. hungry. You know, he came down right. and slept on the couch for a while, man. You know what I'm saying? We was going back and forth, freestyling, busting, and getting that bait flavor from me, trying to see how we rock it. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing him how to, you know, right. Sean T actually showed him how to count bars. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know mm-hmm. how to count bars. <laughs> he would rap mm-hmm. 48 bars on you or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, people like the game. You know what I'm saying? We go back with him, and I go back with people like Pooh Man. <laughs> from Oakland, mm. you know, mm. what I mean? you know, yo, yo, yeah, yo, we just way had back. Poop Man on a couple weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm, that's that's why I want to ask. I'm sure you had a lot of part in a lot of people's careers, or were part of a lot of albums absolutely. people may not even know about. You know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So many different people, man. I don't forgot about them. <laughs> right, I had right, so many right. people, man. That's what I did. That's what I do. It's it's more of a um, it's not even a, um, it's not even a, a name and a face. You know what I'm saying? It's it's what you're trying to do. You know, I just slid through the studio on so many people and threw hooks out and threw threw this out. Threw, and then they go blow up my figures. I just, you know what I'm saying? I go back with being yeah. in the studio with, with hustling them and you know what I'm saying? I mean, sitting down with Jacka, rest in peace. You feel me? I mean, yeah. so. It's, it, it go way back, man. You know, <laughs> juice. You know, it go way back to all kind of cats that I help. You know what I'm saying? In some kind of way or another. You know what I'm saying? Even if it was just vibing. You know. So yeah, yeah. A lot of people, man. You know. Shout out. Shout out to all of them too. Hey, you feel me? Cause I get let love, me ask I get you this. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you. Do you feel that you get the love that you deserve and need, and and for all the work that you put in? And uh, not only that, not only the love from your peers, you know, and and nowadays, but even from the work you put out, do you feel the uh, people receive that album well? The Roots from the Underground, where you made a name for yourself, and the people can, you know, really remember. You know, how how was that overall? Do you feel overall the respect that you've earned or, or gotten or not earned over your over your career? Man, 
I got people like Method Man calling me, man. Yo, mm-hmm. <laughs> the vest, man, the vest in the video with the Adidas. <laughs> he was right. killing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got people coming to me out the Air Force, jumping out of planes, bringing my CD back from, you know, other places, mm. man. I, I received that love, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. I still mm. received it. Yes. I am, uh, yeah, yeah, highly, uh, highly respected in that aspect, man. It did, uh, it did turn out well for me. I can go get on anybody right. album. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. My name still exists. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's I got that love from that That's album. Yeah, I still feel it. Yeah, goes a long way. That's Absolutely. what's up. We still working That's right what's now. Up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boy, uh, Ten Dollar got an album coming out from Totally Insane. For those that don't know, he about to come back out on Get Gone Records with us because I'm now on Get Gone Records. He was from the underground with mm-hmm. No Murder One. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we got. Hey, let me go ahead. No, I was going to ask you. Uh, uh, I want to talk about what do you think? Uh, like you said, you got new music coming out. A lot of people have music coming out, old homies and and newer cats. What do you think about uh, the game right now? Uh, as far as we know, how the game is overall. But what do you think about what's going on in your immediate area? Starting with EPA, what's going on over there? Is there any new acts or people we need to look for, or the whole Bay Area? What do you feel about the sound and and uh, as far as how everything is going right now? Well, right now it's 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 Liddy. It's been Liddy for like the last, I'm gonna say five years straight. It's been it's been running real nice, man. And uh, mm-hmm. it seemed like a lot of old heads coming back out with some more music. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, it seemed like a lot of old heads is coming back out with some music, man. Um, I can't mention everybody name, but at least for my general area, you got people like Ten Dollar. You know, coming back from totally insane. You know, he took a a 20-year leave, you know what I'm saying? Had a good run, though, you know what I'm saying? So he coming back out with music. Chunk coming back out with an album. People been looking for him. He working on some music. It's a lot of people around here that's back working on music again. Hood Star is about to drop another album, you know what I'm saying? Out of my immediate area, you know, we got some singers right. that's coming up that's off the hook, though. Man, <laughs> man, he, he mm. saw Otto about to be on fire. It's about to be lit. He kick your ears open, man. The bank in general, okay. everybody, it, it's a lot of, it's a lot, everybody working. I haven't heard, I know Mess been working. Um, I know Filthy been working. Shout out to both of them. I hope Mess get his, get his act together, man. Yeah, I about to say, Mess, I think Mess got locked yeah. up, didn't he? Or he... He good now. Yeah, he down in Santa Clara somewhere or something like that. I heard. Yeah. But uh, he yeah. should be all right though, man. I just hope everybody, you know, figure it out, man, because I just feel like Bay is the the Bay, you know, so far as music. Now I ain't talking personality wise and your character, but so far as music, they need they need mess too, because mess is one of them hot ones right there, man, on on the mic. You know what I'm saying? That's why yeah. that's why niggas miss. It. You know what I'm saying? And they, they want him back yeah. on, on, on the music scene. And, and, and Mozzie tried, you know what I'm saying? But he'll get it together. Yeah. But he got something coming out. You know, that's all fire, man. We we just need to bring it back together, man. And that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, you know, the Bay, like, man, we right here now. We at the peak. We got people out here blowing up. You know, we got platinum Grammy artists, you know what I'm saying, out here blowing up. Right. You know, and I got the right connections. You know, Gazi. And Furious of Empire, those are good friends of mine, you know, before the music. Right. You know what I'm saying? I met Gazi, he ran into my cougar. You know, I'm a youngster. He ran into my, he was driving an escort. You know what I'm saying? Now he cut million dollar checks all day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. So, you know, that's yep. a friend of mine. This is before music. So, because of the situation, you know, and I'm like, a lot of people poking me in my ribs, like, man, let's do some music, man. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I've always been in the scene, and I'm always writing hooks, and I'm always, you know, I'm like, man, I might as well drop an album. So I'm coming with the album, Friend of Foe, coming soon. Okay. And I'm dropping singles in between time, you know? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we yeah, need that, homie. We need that. Back. You got to bring it oh, back. Oh, man. Oh man, I got some fire for him, man. I'm telling you, they ain't ready. <laughs> they ain't ready. <laughs> yeah, it's all fun though, man. I'm doing hey. it for fun. I'm doing it because it's an art. 
I'm doing it because it's in, it's in my arteries. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it because of that, man. I'm doing it because I've been doing it. You know what I'm saying? I have no excuse, but in order for me to reach some of these youngsters, I feel like that's acting up out here, really, truly, and honestly, though. In order for me to reach them and have a conversation with them, I kind of got to be in their world a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So that's mm-hmm. another reason that draw me to do music again. You know what I'm saying? So I can have something to talk about when I approach them because, you know, in order to get through to them, you got to talk to them about something. So right now they kind of just acting up on Yeah, they they acting up with the pills and just wasting their money all over the place and you know running up in the houses and and and, and killing yeah. the killing our growth. You know what I'm saying? I, we can't we can't yeah. have you killing the growth. I mean, I came from the era where both of your parents was on drugs. B, you had to go do what you had to do. It was different. Yeah. Now you cats out here doing this, and you got two working parents and a brother in the army. Come on, man. You ain't no gangster. Mm. You ain't got to be that mm. way. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. me coming from that era and seeing what I've seen and knowing the difference, I decided, you know what, Sean? Let me get back in this music, man, so we can, you know, like I tell him, pay it forward. We're going to try to pay it forward somehow, you know? So that's, that's right. why I'm back. In it. They asked me why I'm you know, in a 40-plus group still doing music. It's, it's not the money, because I got the bag already. You know what I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> I already got the bag. It's not, it's not the money. I ain't doing it for the money. I don't even want no money. I don't even talk about money. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, I'm doing this so I can get back in, in, in the face of some of these youngsters and, and try to try to have a voice in, in, in which, which directions they going. That's really what I'm doing it for, really. That's what's up, man. That That's... That's a great answer, man, of, of why you should be doing it. Because, like you said, at this point, you know, you don't have to do it, and there's no purpose, but we have right. a purpose. You know what I mean? Cats our age, we got to right. get out here, man, and, uh, you know, get out here and somehow bridge the gap with these youngsters, man, because it's a, That's definitely the word I'm looking somewhat for, of a, con- it's a big, big disconnect. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, it's a disconnect. Right. And I, I, I ain't got together. nothing. If I ain't talking about nothing, you know, I'm in the real estate now. You know what I'm saying? I got real estate mm-hmm. property. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I done bought a couple of houses. I built my own house in my own hood from the ground up. You know what I'm saying? You know, work for right. a couple. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So it, it ain't even about the bread. You know what I'm saying? It's it's more like, damn, how can I talk to this nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this nigga right. ain't, he ain't doing it right. You know, I see him with the, you know, the, 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 the four-door Porsche. You know what I'm saying? I see him doing this. How can I... You know, how can I talk to him about, let me, you know, he's doing the shows and he's doing his thing. Let me let me see if I can come to this party. But to come to this party, let, let me put this song on for you, too, though. Let me show you, okay, yeah, I'm one of them niggas, though. So let me talk to you, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Let's talk, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't be crummy with these young cats, man. You got to be one of them <laughs> niggas, though. They ain't listening. <laughs> you can't be you know crummy saying? with them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's right. listening, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> hey, that's, that's what's up. Hey, Poos, uh, uh, take us, man, to this new single you got with Shanti we spoke about a few minutes ago. Let me play this yo, for the people. Yo, you heard the roots from the underground. Let me tell you, it's a lot more music than that. We got a long catalog. So this right here is just a flavor, just a little snippet of what it is. Okay? Just a reaction. Now, the title. It's just a reaction, everything we do. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna sin, so I'm a prey. And it's just a reaction. Sean Tim Papoose, mm. holla at him. <laughs> Westside Wednesday. Hey, Poos, what up? Hey, roll call was just a warm up, you feel me? For sure. Get gone still in this bitch. That's right. Hey, still cooking. Hey. I ain't never gonna be average. Think I'm soft, I'm a savage. Weed vocals with the ad lib. Bitches don't gotta have it. Long days like a nag. Nothing Dallas but a maverick. You niggas are slow with all the comprehension. You the tortoise, I'm the fucking rabbit. Yep, I'm still living lavish. In the south with a bad bitch. I ain't joking, but I'm laughing. This is facts, I ain't bragging. I'll pull up on niggas and bust up the whip with a stick like nigga was happening. You suck ass niggas is plastic. Everything I do is classic. You can be fake, we riding this way. It's just a reaction. We making them plays and finna get paid. It's just a reaction. I'm finna sing, so I'm afraid. It's just a reaction. I'm the baby, we ain't for play. It's just a reaction. Yeah, yeah. You can be fake, we riding this way. It's just a reaction. We making them plays and finna get paid. It's just a reaction. 
I leave him with bodily injury. I reach in my pocket, I pull out a rocket, put you in the sky, it's astronomy. I am a Leo astrology. That mean the king of the colony. I got killers with me, just to kill a nigga. Hope you feel me, nigga. Copy, follow me. I'm from PA, it's a part of me. A hundred percent in the heart of me. I'm cut from the cross and I come from the bottom. Connect to the base of my arteries. Painting your shirt is an art to me. Straight to the dirt like the pottery. I got bitches with me, just to fuck a nigga. Find out later that it was a robbery. <laughs> It's just a reaction. 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 Yeah. We can be fake. We brought this place. It's just a reaction. We making them plays and feeling your pain. It's just a reaction. I'm finna sing, so I'm afraid. It's just a reaction. I'm the play. We the play. It's just a reaction. Yeah. We can be fake. We brought this place. It's just a reaction. We making them plays and feeling your pain. It's just a reaction. I feel the same, so I'm afraid. It's just a reaction. up this your boy black seal at rbl posse and you're tuned in to the g lu show west side wednesdays what's up y'all this little big from the legendary barrier Bay rap group america's most wanted urging you to tune in to g lu's blog talk radio show west side wednesday shit it's someday what else you gonna listen to What's happening is G Stack, one half of the rap group, the delinquents, and you're tuned in to the G Lou Show, West Side Wednesdays. Holla. This is Zach Capone, the totally insane, and you're tuned in to G Lou, a West Side Wednesday. Yes, sir, I'm G Lou. That's Miss Queen Jean right there, and that's the homie right there, man. Big Papoose, roots from the yeah, underground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hey, that, yeah that. That country just played. That was the reaction. The reaction, just reaction. okay. Just, just the reaction. Sean T and Papoose. Just the reaction. Blue things loud now, available on all digital platforms. Absolutely. That's just a thing. Yeah, I'm getting ready to get it. I also uh, performed on Sean's last album with his Roll Call. It's a hot album right there, man. We make it noise. So I've always been a part of Get Gone Records. I, I named Get Gone Records. I remember Sean was sitting one day. He was like, when I'm going to name the record label? I'm going to start my own record label. I said, your video. The name of your video is Get Gone. Go oh, name it Get Gone Records. Right. <laughs> so we've been pushing wow. ever since, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, absolutely. Hey, let me ask you. Hey, let me ask you what's mm-hmm. your relationship with the homie JT, man? And, uh, you know, what do you think about everything he has going on? He has a lot going on. But what's your relationship with JT? I know he was part of Get Going at one time, Get Low. But uh, what, what's yeah, your relationship with him? Okay, okay. My relationship with him is my relationship personally is good. He ain't never done nothing wrong to me personally. You know what I'm saying? He ain't right. helped me do nothing but get money. You know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, uh, people grow. People go through shit. You know what I'm saying? People get tired of shit. We niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, <laughs> right. this, this is what happens. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, shout out to JT, man. He feel like he feels. You got to respect it. He said it, and he meant it, and he's there to represent it. That is what it is. It's just what it is. If he, you know, however he feels is how he feel. It ain't, it ain't my, my feeling, in my opinion. That's his opinion. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we all right. entitled to our opinion. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing. Right. This is what that's my lady taught me this. It ain't nothing but your opinion, nigga. <laughs> right. 
That's so real, I, though. That's what's up. That's real. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to respect it, man. If he ain't fucking with you, you ain't fucking with him, whatever. He didn't, if you feel like he stepped on your toes, he didn't step on mine. So in the court of law, right. he didn't step on my toes. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Hey, hey, what can I say? You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't going to no shows and nothing. I ain't finna go to Africa and visit him or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> you know, he definitely put it down here. He put it down out here in the Bay. He did his thing. And he's definitely a factor. He de- you can't take that from him. He's definitely right. a factor. You know what I'm saying? In right. that matter. So, you know, there's a lot of factors, though. So that's the difference, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like to me, you know, no, no disrespect to nobody, but the difference between the Bay and L.A., it's a lot of Suge Knights out here, dog. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be no one Suge Knight and run shit out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Period. You know what I'm right. saying? It's a lot of them out here. We all Suge Knights, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the difference. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, no disrespect. I'm just wow. saying. You know, we all we all rock like that out here. So, you know, it's okay if, if a motherfucker spaz out sometime, man. Excuse my French, but people spaz out sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Right, Whatever right. it may be. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever That's it may right. be, man. You know. That's love to JT. I just wanted to touch on that. What, you, what were your thoughts on it? Shout oh, yeah, out to JT, relationship, though. Definitely my, a factor. My relationship. Definitely yeah, done my a lot relationship of good things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Shout out to JT. Yeah. Um, yeah, let out. me ask you this. Uh, let me ask you this, Poofs. Uh, being that you had a long career, 30, 30 years or so, almost 30, whatever it is, give or take, um, you've collaborated with a lot of people, worked with a lot of people, done a lot of music, you know, just overall. Um, who would you say were some of the collaborations that you would have liked to have during your career or still one or that, that you missed out on or, you know what I mean, people that, that you wanted to collaborate, supposed to, or just wanted to? That never happened. Man, first and foremost was Pac. We were so close to working with Pac. I mean, we was right there. You know, we went to Atlanta one time, and Pac walked up like, yo, that Sean shit. <laughs> we was playing Sean T <laughs> song, Straight from the Street. Like, yo, that Sean right. shit. He came over, gave her an interview with us and shit. Big Les walked up, you know what I'm saying, interviewed him and shit. We was right you know, that's somebody I definitely would have loved to work with. Rest in peace, man. Um, you know, we did end up doing some some music with some of his homies and shit. But you know, you know, the list goes on. You know, I would like to have done something with Short. You know, what I'm saying probably okay. up and coming. You know, what I'm saying definitely a legend right, right there. You know, you know, I definitely want to do something with him. But you know. Really, me, mainly, I just like to listen. You know what I'm saying? So you do yours, I'm going to do mine. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I just want to listen. I ain't really pushing to collab with nobody, you know, at this point. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you know, it's all about these little youngsters, man, and just trying to get next to them, man, and see how we can rub shoulders, man, and, and get this shit going a different direction because, you know, from what I've seen and what I've done, this it has got to be a better way, man. So, that's where it's at with me right, right now. So if I collab with anybody moving forward, it'll be some of these youngsters. <laughs> you know right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Great answer. That, you know? Great yeah, answer. Yeah. Because the older homies yeah, yeah. already done that, doing theirs. We got to connect with these youngsters yeah. right now, especially right now yeah. with all this going on. You know what I mean? They need some real guidance, you know, because I think that's what they lack as well. Because cause they're getting money. They're getting a lot of money. But, but how they move is just like – you know, it's not, you know, according to, you know, like how we grew up, you didn't move like that. You didn't show everything. You can't show, you know what I mean? These youngsters just, just, they're flamboyant, which is nothing wrong. Everybody's always been flamboyant, but they're really, you know, with the social media and all this, it just took a whole different spin where, uh, you know, it's just a lot, you know what I mean? And I just think some of these youngsters need real guidance, not guidance from looking up to nobody, like you said, but just guidance from a perspective from homies that's been there and done it. They can, you know, show you how to just, just maybe move a little bit better than you're doing, you know what I mean? Because I think that's the that's the problem with a lot of youngsters, you know what I mean? They just move a whole lot different than we did. And now you have social media, everything is about that. It's a show, you know what I mean? And and it's not always right. about a show. You got to 
got to move correctly. And um, um, let me ask you this. Speaking about the youngsters, man, um, like you said, and, and a little bit of L.A. since you spoke on that, I know you were in tune with what the, the tragedy. We just had the tragedy today, but almost coming up on a year now, the homie Nipsey, man. I know you're from the Bay, but I know you, you were somewhat in tune or heard about, you know, what he was doing. And speaking of these youngsters, he's one of the ones that really – did it the right way and could have showed these youngsters the right way to do it. So I just want to bring him up because I asked everybody about this. What, what's your take on that? And how do you feel about, uh, you know, speaking on the youngsters, how he did it, you know, and his demise? I, I look for music. I look, I search for music. All I right. kind of, I'm in my own zone, right? So if you can imagine just right. being in your own zone, you ain't fucking with nobody. You ain't hearing a bunch of music, right? I look for music. I heard Nipsey Hustle way back, right? Nobody told me about this mm-hmm. guy. And I'm bumping this shit. I'm loving this cat. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, ooh, this, ooh, he got, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm just, I became a fan on my own with nobody right. ever telling me nothing about this guy. What I didn't know him. I ain't never met him. I just became a fan because I love music. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I didn't know a struggle or anything. And to hear all the stuff that he was doing along with the good music that he was making, man, we got to stop. This is my whole point. We are killing our future off. You know what I'm saying? This is my whole point. What is the point of the struggle? What is the point of the hustle if we just killing off our future? These young niggas running around here with all this money, and they don't know the next 30 years where that shit going to be. You you, you, you act like you don't care about, 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 about a record because you got the lawyer money. You know what I'm saying? But in the long right, run, right. that money going to be gone, man. You feel like you can buy a house. You can do this. You can, Man, look, man. I'm just trying to say that. Rest in peace, Nipsey, man, and God take his favorites, man, because he was definitely one of the favorites. Look at him. Look at Pac. Look at Biggie. I mean, come on, yeah. man. It is not cool, man. You know what I'm saying? And it, it just seemed to just keep going. Every six months, every, you know, we get a tragedy. You know what I'm saying? Out of a, yeah. you know, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Kobe it's Bryant. like, come yeah. on, yeah. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, to die of old age. That's one thing, all right? But to be took, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy, man. This is not fair. You know, so that's my whole thing when you was talking about bridging the gap. That's the whole thing right there. Everybody doing everything that they're doing. I don't care what it is. It's, it's mainly for the bag. Everybody wants right. a bag. I don't care what you doing. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're a church member, you want a really nice church. Even if you're a preacher, right. you want a really nice church. You want to, You got to get the bag. I don't care mm-hmm. what you do, what your profession is. So my thing is, let's just try to show you how to keep the bag. I don't want to, nothing else. I ain't telling you nothing else, dog. Just try to keep the bag. You know what I'm saying? So that's what bridging the gap is for me. You know what I'm saying? Because the youngsters is mad that we didn't show them nothing. We didn't have nobody show us nothing. You know what I'm saying? But right. now that we see what you're doing because you don't know nothing, well, let me bridge that gap a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, get the bag, but hold on to it. <laughs> but hold on to it. And uh, uh, right. let me ask you this. That's that. And also, I want to speak about the things you're doing because you said uh, about speaking to the youngsters and, like you said, putting out new music is a great way to reach them. But you also have different things. Like you said, you're in the real estate now. You're doing things that, that we're supposed to do when we get older and, 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 you know, get the money from what we did and, and, and move it forward and, and, you know, keep it going. You know what I mean? For So we can build these generational type of wealth. You know, uh, so you could also speak about that. So tell us what's, what's going on with you moving forward. You talked about bridging the gap, new music. So as a whole, what do you got coming up? What can the people look forward to uh, uh, with Papoose coming up here? Right now, what I'm doing is um, trying to get some of these youngsters on the team. I got a few cats around my neighborhood, man, I want to work with and get some music going with them. But so far as me, I got the album coming out. Look, that look like my boy right there. Is that Coffee? What's up, Coffee? <laughs> One of the legends riding by me right now, though, on the whip. But, okay. um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm working on new music, man. I'm definitely putting out music. We got another uh, single out right now with uh, Mr. Fab, Missing You Mom. 
John T, Pat mm. Poos, and Mr. Fab, Missing You Mom. That's another hit single that's out on all digital platforms right now. Mm. You know, shout out to Dope Era. You know, but I'm definitely going to try to work with Sean, try to work with, with, with Mr. Fab, try to work with, with, with the Barbershop Boys and, and see what we can do to, now that we know, basically, now that we know what we're doing and I'm into this real estate, and once I find out stuff, then I can share the game. And we ain't left y'all behind, but we caught up in the mist too. You know what I'm saying? We came from an era right, where this right. money stuff was kind of new to us too. So don't be so angry that we didn't show you nothing because it ain't like we knew a lot. You know what I'm saying? So right, right now, right now, I'm pushing this music so they can feel comfortable around me. You you have to invite that comfortability. You know, I can't just come in with the real estate shit. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. then show them how to get the bag, right? Right. And this is what you have to do. This is the real estate part of it, if that's what you want to do it. So far as structuring your family and how to be a mm. family man, you know what I'm saying, mm. and, 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 and how to take care of what you got at home. Yeah, flip some dirt. Don't worry about the sneakers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> flip some dirt. You know what I'm saying? Let's mm-hmm. go flip some property or something. You know, let's get that done first. Take care of your family and the, the closest ones to you that, you know, you feel like you you doing this for. Because you're doing it for more than just you. You know what I'm saying? When you balling out, you're doing it for somebody. We buy these cars and we buy this jewelry and all this <laughs> stuff for all the girls. We already know what it's for right, for the girls. Right. If the world was full of men, you wouldn't buy it. You know what I'm saying? So, right. you mm-hmm. know. <clears throat> what are you really trying to do, man? I mean, the excitement is there. It's good, man. But traveling is better. Credit is better. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm just trying to, mm. you know, being in our neighborhood isn't the best thing all the time. We talk about gentrification and things that's mm-hmm. going on in our neighborhoods. But then when they do gentrificate our neighborhood, for some reason, it seemed to be a better fucking neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? We all talk about the same shit behind closed doors, but then when we go outside and we get the same results. So I'm just trying to figure out how to get behind the closed doors and bring the shit outside. <laughs> you know what mm. I'm saying? How can we, you know, mm. let's let's talk about it like that. Let's try to figure out a way to, to make this work with these youngsters who feel like we done left them behind, and it's just getting worse, and it's, it's, it's getting worse. It's out of control already. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's already right. out of control. And hey, if you don't like it, you know. Hey, Poos, but it sounds to me like like you got this new album coming out. But it sounds to me like you need to maybe put a put a with a package package it with a documentary behind it. You know what I mean? Cause you can speak on everything you just spoke on these last five minutes was 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 killed the whole interview. You really spoke some real game really quick. I don't know if they caught it or soaked it up, but but that's what we need as well, and that's the way you can reach these youngsters and, and these old niggas too with some of that game yeah. you just dropped. So I think you need to yeah. maybe put together something to go with the album or documentary put on YouTube where you're speaking about these things as well so you can get the point across correctly, man, because cause just right there, you just dropped some game right quick, homie. I don't know if you're aware of that, but that's what we need right there. I appreciate that, man, and I've been filming a lot of stuff, man. I, I got a, That's a great idea. I might have to push that forward because, yeah, the album mm-hmm. is coming, friend of foe. Right now, we're just dropping little snippets just to give everybody a little piece of this and that right there. Let them know we hide and we moving and we're doing a little shows here and there. We're messing with these cats. We're doing this. We're we involved. So that's that's the first step. You know what I'm saying? The first step mm-hmm. is, hey, we involved. And it, 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 we got bags, too. You know what I'm saying? But let's show you right. how to hold on to it. So, yeah, the documentary will be real good with it. And that game, the game that I got for them, though, I sit down in the barbershop with them. I holler at them. I know everybody in my neighborhood, you know, all the youngsters, we're trying to get it together right now. Shout out to Sharper Image over here in Menlo Park because that's where the barbershop boys uh, come and congregate. But, uh, yeah, we're trying right. to do this music the right way. So the music, again, is to start the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Right. First, I'm going to come looking. I gotta, I'm got going to walk in a room and I look just like you. That's the first step. You know what I'm saying? I talk just like mm-hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? So... Now your mm-hmm. comfort zone is good. It's, it's open. Your comfort zone is open. So now you might listen. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, right. that's dope that right. you don't that you um that you're saying that you know walk in the room and look just like you, walk in the room and talk just like you. So there's no threat, and then you can sit right. up in dialogue with them when you walk in like that. You know, not right. walking in flashy and putting yourself right. up higher. 
You know, that's right. dope. That's, that's real dope. The music is the same. If we talking mm-hmm. the same shit, believe it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going home. I'm going home, and I'm going home in my neighborhood, and I'm and I'm good. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just want you to be the same way. I can. I get you to be more like that, comfortable in your own home, in your neighborhood, where we ain't losing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The uh, 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 getting invaded on and, and and losing our lives, man. Because we just trying to, you know. Shout out to the homie, man. You know. Yeah, because too much That's flashiness can get you um, get you taken out. Being too flashy definitely can do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Poos, tell, tell the people uh, again, we know we got the uh, we got the album coming out. Let them know the album. I'm going to go to this phone call, too. A P- couple people want to check in. Uh, but tell, tell the people where they, what you got coming up, what's the what's the whole situation, and where they can follow you at and get at you at for not only just to become a fan, but to get at you maybe for business or, or, or contact information or information of what you got going on that you can let the people know. Tapoos get going as the Instagram man all day. You feel me? Hit me up on that thing right there. Uh, get going records uh, with Empire Distribution. You know we on that Empire thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. trying to get my million mm-hmm. dollar check too, so I can show them how to do that. <laughs> yeah, we got video coming big. out. That's we big. got video coming out. We got a video that we just got through filming for Just a Reaction, so that'll be popping off too. Um, Papoose on Facebook. You can you can hit me up there. Easy to find them on all digital platforms, pretty much. Hit me up for anything, man. I do promotion. I, I promote all artists. You know what I'm saying? I, I do a lot of promotions in my neighborhood because that's who I know. But if you send me anything and it's, and it's decent, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to promote it free of charge. Don't worry. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. that, that's, that's big. Everybody's trying to get the bag. You know what I'm saying? So That's you right. Know, I'm, that's I'm, what's up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, it has to work somehow, right? So that's yeah. where you can find me at, man. And I'm always in my neighborhood. I'm always up in Oakland. I'm always in Hunters Point in Frisco. I'm always moving around. Everybody see me. I'll be in Atlanta. You know, I'll be moving around. Sean be in Atlanta. We be everywhere, man. We out there. So it ain't hard to find, mm-hmm. man. You know, absolutely. That's right. Shout out to my partner, $10. It's personal. We got to link up at this, this this Cali picnic this year at the at the Atlanta shit, the Cali picnic. I know you're going to be there. Absolutely. We got to link up. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll be yeah. there. I will be there. Okay. Absolutely. I missed it okay. last one. Sure. I went to the Super Bowl. I went to the Super Bowl, though, down there. So, yeah. you know, it's all good. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll for link sure, up. For sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Let me uh, take this caller. Uh, po- oh, oh Poos, you don't I – I meant to ask you this. You Papoose, but you the original Papoose from back in the day. Do you get confused yeah. with the social media and all that with the new Papoose, you know, the New York dude? Well, I, I got that a few times when the show first came out. A few people was hitting me, you know, uh, Nutso hit me. You know, that's Keisha Cole, brother. Nutso yeah, yeah. Me. Yo, Papoose, what's up, man? You know, woo ain't it? Oh, no, nah, man, that ain't me, man. Shout out to Papoose. The kid got lyrics. He got good family yeah, structure. Yeah, he hard, though. Ain't, I ain't taking yeah. nothing from that dude, man. That cat is hard. I love to do something with him because I got that East Coast kind of flavor, too, man. I got some of that, too. So I love to do right. something with that dude, man. You know, he good, man. But okay. on some real shit, I am the original. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> get it right. <laughs> My shit takes way straight. back. My shit takes way straight. back. If we, if we have to pull it off the charts, man, I'll probably win, man. Don't don't challenge me, man. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. I just had to ask you that, man. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me take this caller though, right quick. Caller, hello, eight five eight. Down in the day, yeah. Joe. What's going on, man? Where have I lead? You know, San Diego, Los Angeles area. You know, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, much love to the to the brother Papoose, man. You know, and and you said you wanted to work with Pac. You know, what I'm saying. <clears throat> You one of the brothers that he would probably say your name, Papoose, you know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> he would say something like that on the record, you know, because he got a lot of people on his crew that had little different names and things like that. So, you know, in the spirit, man, he probably would have worked with you, and I know he would have. But, yeah, man, I appreciate what you're saying to the youngsters, though, man, because, uh, yeah, they they need a little a little boost. Now, you know, one thing we didn't have, we didn't, we didn't have a, the knowledge about money and what to do with it back then, but one thing we did have, 
coming back up in the 70s and the 80s is that we knew how to survive and we knew how to walk the streets and we knew how to get right. to where we at right we knew how to get to where we at right now man cuz right. everything I everything I learned from the streets that of LA man look that's how I got to 2020 man I know how to shake fools off I knew how to let some friends go I know how to stop smoking right. and drinking around certain cats and know how to right. stop doing all this stuff out the club. You know, if I wanted to drink, if I wanted to smoke, I did that at home where nobody could bother right. me. You know, I could be at right. my peace. I ain't going to worry about nobody stepping on my shoes and, you know, spilling drinks on my jacket and me getting upset. So I had to learn early, man, leave them cats yeah. alone. You know, and that's right. what these people gonna learn now, man. They ain't learning, man. Like the dude that just got killed, you know, it's like, where's the big homie had to say, hey, man, you can't be having parties like that, man. You can't be doing right, stuff right, like right. that. That one day, right. one day, the party days and all that stuff is long gone. You got to learn right. how to be home. You got to be home alone for real. And I ain't talking about the movie. You know what I'm saying? This is real right. deal, man. You got to learn right. how to love yourself, man. And I appreciate what you're saying, man. So much love, Rev Ali, out here, man. You know, I don't know if I met you before because I promoted a lot of records, man. A lot of records from L.A. to, to, to Oakland to with San Francisco, everywhere, man. I know a lot of people. But what I did was because I had learned early, like I was telling you, I wasn't no groupie. I stood in the background. I might have looked at you and never said nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just look at right. you know, but there for the, the, the what was there to see the shows or you know anything y'all might have been doing, man. You know, even Tupac. I knew Pac, but I never even right. tried to holler at him about nothing. I shook his hand and left him alone. You know what I mean? Right. So you know, man. Right. I, I appreciate you, man. Keep doing what you're doing for these youngsters because they really need somebody like you said that that's you know gonna spit at them the way they need to be spit at on their level to try to help them bring them up because they, they won't listen to somebody that they feel like, you know, ain't, ain't never lived a life that they talk about now. But we got to let them know, man, that life is long gone, man. You know, ain't, right. nothing but, right. ain't, nothing but, ain't nothing but death and more death behind it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, much right. love to you. The most, the most high continue to lead you and your family, man. You know, Rev Ali got love for you, man. And uh, if I see you, man, I definitely going to come shake your hand this time because, you know, I'm, I'm 50 now, so you know, brother. You know, brother. You know, you know what I mean. But I love you, man. I appreciate what you said, man. A much love to G Lo, Queen Jean. Hugs to you. I really appreciate this interview. What this brother's talking about. Thank you, Ali. Man. Hugs to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. In, Thank you, Ali. Much love, love, bro. Love you, homie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's love, man. That's love. Shout out to the Rev. Um. And everybody out there, we got a lot of callers out there that just probably didn't press one, but uh, you're getting a lot of love tonight. So thank you for everybody who tuned in tonight to this uh, classic episode right here, man. Uh, you know, Papoose got a lot of game up on him. He only gave you a little, he just, you just sprinkled him, really, homie. It's like you sprinkled him, homie, but you, you got a lot of game to give, man. And I'm glad you want to give it to these youngsters, you, you know, more more importantly than anything else, because they need Absolutely. it. You know, um yeah, man, you got a lot of game up under your belt, and I'm looking forward to everything you got going on. Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna put the music in rotation and always play it. Whatever you got for us, let us know. And um, it's it's all love, man. Uh, I appreciate this appreciate interview, homie. Appreciate that. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Sir. We're gonna keep. It uh, also, for show. Sure, also, before you leave, man, I gotta I gotta get you to give me a drop, man, for the G Lu show, please. You heard All right, me? what you want me to do? How are we going to do this? You can drop it now, or, or you can send it to me later, however you want to do it, but you can drop it now in case we, you know, I don't know. It's on you. So, 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 so is it just a drop? Like, you know, uh, shout out to the G. Lou show and, the, and, the, and my peoples and, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Or is it a yeah, first all of that, all of that right it? there. Yeah just, yeah, just do that right there. Whatever else you want to put in there with it. Hey, yo, this Papoose right here, you know, from Get Gone Records. Shout out to my man G. Lou and the West Side Show. Very area representative right here, man. One love to y'all, man. Bump this rock right here like this. That part. My man Papoose, man, we appreciate you again, bro. I'm gonna get into some of this classic, this classic uh, roots from the underground music, man. Hang out with us if you want to, man. I appreciate you, bro. Absolutely, man. Stay up. Yes, sir. Westside Wednesdays, the G Lou Show with Queen Jean, BTP Media 93, Tweed, Skip, Skip, Towing. <laughs> <laughs>
for killing nigga like me. Breaking niggas down to the motherfucking concrete. Defeat me, you can't. Motherfucker, you'll get peeled off. I done seen the hardest, biggest niggas turn soft. So talk what you want and bring the fuck on. But I bet you one thing, your game won't last long. Taking the niggas in, I'm tired of this shit. Punk motherfucker, you trying to beat the fit. Break the nigga down, the smart type of step to me. You can't fuck around with the murder one posse. So nigga, count the blessing when you wake up in the morning. Pray I don't get the monkey ass while you're yawning. Nigga, punk motherfucker, turn the other cheek if you will out the bush. Pop gated the monster, didn't give me food, but I survived cause I got strong roots. Nigga, nigga, down with me to the underground. Boots got the loose, now your ass hang ground. To all your sucker born punk perpetrate cuz. Beware of the 9mm massacre. Beware of the 9mm massacre. And I'm sick of the motherfucking punk ass games that niggas play. Motherfuckers, your ass is better behave or find yourself slaughtered. Mango murder, put it in an early grave form with my homie PAP. Double OSC, murder one records in effect, so let me check it. Fools that run up, they often fall, then they crawl like a slobbering baby. Bitch ass niggas, you can't fade me. I'm on a rampage and fools that get they ass late when roots from the underground and chunk took the fuck up. Niggas wanna play big balls, take little balls and get they big balls blown deep through they ass walls. Buckers getting got. We Sending out fuck shots, boy, you should've known that murder one weapon lead is hot, steaming like a motherfucker, burning through your flesh, straight up smoke, I ain't no joke, now you up, show my dick for me to hold, so niggas better let go of your brains, gonna be oozing like a busted jar, pray go chunk, D-A-double-G-Y, the murder one minute should be in the Guinness with my nine for handling so much fucking business. Beware of the nine elevator massacre, who's from the underground is coming at me, beware of the nine elevator massacre, and fuck in the game. Turtle from Fox. 
Modern Break City. You're listening to the Jamie Show, Wednesday, Wednesday, on Blog Talk Radio. Jumble, my friend. Yeah, I'm up for the show, man. G. Lou Show. Find one of our new friends, Chico Shoot Newton. G. Lou! G. Lou! Yeah, G. Lou Show. You know who it is. It's Havoc, man. Say Central, baby. Cartel. The Patty Rocket Player. We got a life that is. G. Lou. The President. Yeah. The G. Lou Show. Big Show.
bitch mama's on porn. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, wake your cold mouth, motherfucking ass up. What up? This your boy, OG Steve Old, circa 81 from the 213, now up in that 509. You are now listening to the G Who Show on Blog Talk Radio. West Coast, stand up. East Coast, rep, we see you. Midwest, we see you. The whole dirty. South, what's up, we see you. Shout out to all listeners world motherfucking wide. But you know, you got to bow down to the motherfucking west side. This is the G Who Show. What's up, man? Nah. It's a man, you know what I'm saying? Big D, man. I represent uh, ATL to the fullest, man. You know what I'm talking about? Southside, man. Um, man, I just want everybody to know that, man, you are now logged in to nothing but the legendary. My, my home for Nothing but the GD show, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nothing but the hit. Nothing but the motherfucking hit. Nigga. Get him over the head with it, homie. Uh, bam, come we're gonna bring it together right quick, G. Uh. Do it for all the niggas like me and you, G, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all the Cali actors, you know? Uh, clack, 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 clack. You can swing through the east side of LBC and see the same shit you see in Southeast SD. Niggas with perms to done prison terms. Gambling and then hella no shirt. Babies with nappy braids, footballing in the street. Some niggas named graffiti on the wall after RP. Uh, NHPs and NHCs. Know it's trip that strike you out here in Cali. Huh. Well, every nigga that you knew that got rich from the turf ended up in the federality. Success stay incubating. Every day, every hood, a couple new niggas get initiated. He a move, he changed the seat and bigger it. He a key weight, when he gamble, he spell six CIA. No matter in Southern Cal, let he black, he bang. That go come to Pomona, all the same slang. Any hood you go, Cali niggas is all the same. In any hood you go, Cali niggas is all the same. In any hood you go, Cali niggas is all the same. In any hood you go. Niggas, I'm up early in the morning, put a crease to my khaki. Southeast they go, Logan Ave, call them backies. Mickey Slick back me, I'm Lil Bam the Loco. Representing the east side, Long Beach, you know. Rolling two times, stay on the gridiron. I'm so damn sharp, you think I'm pumping that it on. But no cuts when it comes to the block. And that gang bang West Coast shit won't stop. And if we slow it down, the frowns gon' come. But if you don't know English, sign language gon' come. The ain't your mama rag. Mine hang from the left like any real hood nigga I'm a bang to the death with my chucks to the asphalt Hoods on the stop sign, so the out of town There's no we pushing the damn line Red or blue, you gotta stay true Real niggas keep it active in a hood near you In any hood you go Cali niggas is all the same In any hood you go Cali niggas is all the same In any hood you go Cali niggas is all the same in any hood you go, Cali niggas is all the same. Yeah, you know I keep it tuned in to Eastside Radio. It's your boy Jake, man, don't forget to see. Coming straight from the west side, which you call a big slave gang. And we don't stop. Yeah, little bell keeps serving these niggas. Yeah, East West Connect. Man, much love back. We got all the going down tomorrow night. It's going down tomorrow night. Uh, we got Don Brown, Jamaican Funk, will be my guest, followed by uh, legendary radio personality Freddie C. The following week, followed by Patrice Wilson, followed by Denise Williams. And if I keep on talking, oh it's going to look like Don Brown. Yeah. 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 The 
West, 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 West Side Wednesdays with my partner D Lou, red and blue, keeping it true. Black fist in the air. This is my partner right here. Y'all turn in, tune in to him every Wednesday for whatever he got going on. Special guest, good music, unreleased music, or previously released music. G Lou, West Side Wednesday. Yes, sir. Westside Wednesdays, homie, the G Lou Show. West Coast hip hop. To the tip top. Top shelf shit, homie. OG Lou, Westside Wednesdays, OG Music. Yeah. It's Westside Wednesday, the G Lou Show. That's a fact, we've been doing this for four years straight. Back to back, got rid of my old caddy and got a new lack. Threw away my old flows when they got a new rap. I was raised in California, but I seen a whole map. Been around the whole world, can't wait to get back. Give a shout out to the West Side, homie, straight moving. From Florence to La Brea, to Pico and Union. From Whittier to Watts, South Los to the beach. To Harlem, California, holla at my Uncle Tweed. Indeed, yeah, we pro. Proceed to keep a gangster. No skinny jeans, no leads, no wranglers. We only rock Levi's, just like T Fly. Shout out to the Bay E40 SPI. CE, I'm the number one G. L E W, so you don't want no trouble, fools. As we take you on this West Side ride. Every Wednesday from 7 to 9, we on time. So holla at the homie if you need that fix. The G Lou show, we all in the mix like this. <laughs> yes, sir. It's Westside Wednesdays, homie. Yeah. On the yeah. G Lou Show, Blog Talk Radio, the number one West Coast station across the nation. Brick City Productions, OG Music, G Lou. Yes, sir. And we rolling like that. 914-803-4001. Holla at me, homie. Yeah.
where it's at. Hey, hey, rolling, big money, yeah, hey, 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 Me and my foolish, yeah, we out in the street, got a cheap we nigga. The S P O T. What's that, little homie? Nah, what's up, OG? Another day, another dollar. Uh-huh. When niggas come through, break bread, slap pants, holla. Look it, niggas everywhere. The home blown on the porch, talk the shit, bring the homies here. Yeah, right off the jack. Yeah. Nice with the sack. Uh-huh. The homies shooting dice in the back. And you know that. What? Fresh clothes is a dress code. And I ain't in no bullshit to impress hoes. Hell no. Nah. Chucks with the cat. Come on. Chain with the hat. Yeah. Big swang gang, river sad. Cause in the click, I'm the young one. Uh huh, busting. Holding my nuts, don't give a fuck about nuts. Who that? Melee. Dub with the AK. Getting paid like every day. We got the spot. Hey, hey, hey. Check it out. Got what you need, nigga. Hear me out. Hey, Calling from Los Angeles. I grew up on 54th and Arlington. We were known as the A Brat. I'm here to speak upon us, black people. We need to get it together. We need to come together. You know what I mean? Put the guns down, put the powder down, put the pills down, put the mess down, put it all down. Let's come together, you know. And shout out to the G Loon Show. This brother doing a good thing. I'm going to spread the word, and if you're listening right now, spread the word. Have your folks calling in and listening. If you don't have nothing to say, just listen. Get a word. You never know. That one word that day could encourage you to do something different with your life or go help somebody else because it's about us, okay? Listen, every Wednesday from 7 to 9 and Sunday is from 7 to 9 old school. Spread the word. The phone number is air code 914-803. 4001, and if you want to speak on something, push one, and brother will let you speak and get something off your chest, but we need positive thoughts. We don't need nobody calling in and talking about they going to do nothing stupid and all that old stuff. We're talking about positivity, and if you got some ideas how to help, you know, help the city get better, help your neighborhood get better, then call in and let's see what we can do and get, get together and make something happen, because once we start making a change, it's going to spread like a wildfire and everybody can join in. And help, because it's about us. Good night, y'all. Good night, y'all. Good night, y'all. Ah. <laughs> Shout out to Melinda. Shout out to the VNG. Shout out to my homeboy, Blinky Blink, behind them walls. Man, what up, homie? Uh, it's the G. Lou Show, Westside Wednesdays. I want to give a shout out once again to our sponsors for the evening, BTP Media Group, the homie Jeff Kwan, who made it happen. Shout out to our guests, uh, the homeboy, Papoose. Roots from the underground. Uh, shout out to Skip Skip Toying, Westside Car Club, my homeboy Tweed Cadillac, 93.point Tweed FM ism. It goes down tomorrow night, 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific, 10 to 12 Eastern on Blog Talk Radio, 93.point Tweed FM ism. You dig? And shout out to Dee Dee Harrison. Our prayers are up with you. And shout out to uh, my homegirl. Shout out to Miss Mama Boo Boo. Check out her channel on YouTube. Mama Boo, uh, uh, Mama Boo Boo, intimate conversations with Mama Boo. Check her out. That's Baby Boo right there. Make sure you check her out and follow her as well. And um, I'm back with the Queen. Queen, um, I wanna, I wanna go to you now because you know we're gonna go to after hours in a minute. But you know we got a few minutes left, so the Queen has to bless the audience with some, with some, with some wisdom. You know what I mean? And um, also, how did you like the show tonight, Queen? Oh, I love this show. Um, it was a good, it was a good show. Learning, um, you know, because I wasn't too much familiar with Papoose, but um, what I did, the information I did get, yeah, I was digging the show. But I do love the music because I did check out all the music today, so I love the music. But it was a great show, you know. I liked um, everything that he was saying, really, because he was speaking. Um, Real talk. Oh, real shit. You know? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he was, was. really talking. I wish I could have got stuff. more of that. We talked about the music, but when he sprinkled me with that game at the end, I, I wanted more of that right there because he was he was talking some real some real talk, as you said. Yeah, and then with him doing what he's doing, like um, like he said, from the dirt flipping real estate is one of the best things you can do for yourself is um, 
purchase you some real estate. It can be something small, you know, as long as you get into it. And once upon a time, that's where I was. But yeah, real estate is good to be flipping it, you know. Um, right. It's a good investment. Real estate is always a good investment. But, um, yeah, it was a great show. And um, I just wanted to say to the people to, you know, stay encouraged and be mindful of your, you know, surroundings, the people that you invite into your world. Pay attention when you have people in your homes. You know, pay attention to people's, um, you know, be able to to connect with that vibe, to pay attention to that vibe, to pay attention to people. You know, know who's really there for you and know who's just there to benefit from you. You got to be, you, you, you have to know this because people are, it's a lot of dark souls out here and jealousy is so real. The, the hatred and jealousy is so real and uh, people have so many masks on. And it's easy to be fooled, um, but you got to just, right. be, you got to stay alert. You know, you just got to stay alert because there's too much going on. Um, out here in this world, and it just saddens me to hear of, of of things that's happening. You know, it really saddens me because I'm an empath, and being that way, you you tend to overthink or you tend to take on other people's uh, issues or sad. You know, you just tend to take on too much, and sometimes it can be very draining. And I was told mm-hmm. today you got to stop doing that. But hey, when it's part of who you are, it's part of who you are. So All right. Right. With that being said, I just want to leave this as well. Create a life that feels good on the inside, not just one that looks good on the outside. So, mm. yeah, you know, create a life that feels mm. good on the inside and not just look good on the outside because we all can look good on the outside. But what's really going on with the inner part of you, you know, the inner part, because that's where it counts, your soul and your spirit. That's where it counts. Right, so, right, right. You know that's about that's it, right there. Mm-hmm. That's big, right there. Shout out to the queen, Queen Jean. Um, you can catch her with me on every show. We're back Friday. We got a special guest. We're gonna represent for the ladies this Friday. We got a legendary female MC that you might might have heard of. So uh, tune in this Friday night. Also tune in uh, tomorrow night again at Tweed Cadillac ninety three point Tweed FM Ism. Check out our podcast, the G. Lou Show podcast. We got episode nine coming up, I believe, with the homeboy Cali Cree, uh, a real, real, real serious individual, man, um, out the Athens area from Athens Park. Uh, the homie has a couple books out as well. He's an author. He did some fed time and uh, a real one, man. So uh, tune into our podcast this Saturday um, with a homeboy Cali Cree. He's going to be here. And also check out the, the, the past episodes Starting off with Queen Jean, episode one, we had Hank on there with his story. We had Dee Dee Harrison. We had Mama Boo last week, classic episode. We had the homie Stan, uh, Arabian Prince, N.W.A. I mean, I mean, we had some Big U. Big U was a serious episode. So check out the podcast. It's everywhere, Spotify, Apple Apple Podcasts, wherever, YouTube, wherever it's there. So support support the movement. Support our uh, channel as well, the G. Lou Show on YouTube. Get those numbers up, support us, and uh, and shout out to our sponsors again. Everybody who helps us makes it happen. Skip Skip Toy, West Side Car Club, ninety three Tweed, uh, 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 BTP, uh, Kev Mac Videos. You know, uh, much love to everybody out there, man. I hope I got everybody in, man. But we about to go into after hours in a minute. If you will, yeah, just you continue listening. Too. Oh, go ahead, Queen. My um, granddaughter that called in. Um, she told me that she listened to um, Mama Boo's podcast, and mm-hmm. she was really digging that. You know, she was really digging that. She was like, yeah, hey, Mama Boo's podcast um, interview. So she um, okay. gave you big props for that that interview. She said that was a you know pretty dope interview, which it was. It was a dope wow. interview. But yeah, you know, wow. she's um, she's twenty two. Yeah, she's twenty two. Okay, she's, and um, she's yeah, young. like she said. Yeah, she's young. That's she's big. so um yeah, she's so intelligent. She's so got her self together, you know. Uh, and like she said, she just recently moved up to the Bay Area. Her job moved her out there. So she's always been, you know, um 
level headed, always had her head together. She um mimics me in a lot of ways, which which is a blessing for me that, you know, you can have um your granddaughter mimic you in on the good in right. you know, good ways, you know. So right. yeah. I was really happy when she, I was surprised she called in, but I was happy she called in. When I heard her voice, I was like, Oh, that sounds like Deja. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's, that she, was that was love right there. That was love. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Daisha again. That was love. Yeah, she gave so, us big compliments. And shout out to Mama Boo out there. That was a great episode. Everybody loves it, mm-hmm. you know. So yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I was just happy to be a part of it. You know. Yeah, she uh, shout out. You know, she was just saying all of them. Um, how you are an interviewer. She was, you know, complimenting mm-hmm. that as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, That's you guys big. go check That's out the big. pod. You know, check out the podcast, the uh, G Lou podcast, and check out him as an interviewer. He's a great interviewer, as you know from and you too. His you, show you interviewed on. Hank. You got you got your interview on on episode three with four. I don't know with, with the homie Hank, which was another classic. But you know, you did that as well. So uh, shout out to you, Queen. Thank you, thank you, Julie. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you yeah, so much. Gotta show but, yeah. love to the Queen. You hold me down over here. This is my co-host, you know what I'm saying, um, um, Queen Jean makes it all happen. She does a lot, man, and uh, I don't know, you know, if she gets appreciated enough or if she knows how much she's appreciated, but Queen Jean, you are appreciated because you make a lot happen. You you do everything, you know, without even asking. So, you know, we appreciate you. And go check out her episode, episode one of the podcast uh, with Queen Jean. That was a classic as well. She told her story. So uh, much love to you, Queen. Thank you Thank for you. all you I'm do. Thank you. humble. Thank you. Thank you. I know yeah, I'm appreciated. Yeah. You always let me know, and the guys on the Sunday show let me know. So, you know, I'm humble, though. You know, I'm humble. So, namaste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's West Side Wednesday, the G. Lou show. You know, we're in the after hours now, so uh, you know what we do in after hours, man. We're going to take you there. You know, I'm the love chef cooking up the recipe. I'm G. Lou. That's <laughs> Queen Jean. And, you know, we up in there. Hey, let me do this right here. Let me take it to the underground. My homeboy, B. Ali, out there, man. This is my guy right here. He has a quick message. Let me play his track, do this in the after hours, and we'll right, right, right now, just like right now, I'm sitting up in the state. State correction facility with three lights running wild. I have done 21 years going on. And I got one minute left to talk. From my uncle in the pen, serving time down in Alabama since I was a kid. It cost a lady, never made it. Cause shit is so unjust when you fucking with them laws, man. Careful who you trust, you know they wanna lock you up. Hit throw away the key. Be patient is what my uncle said, they telling me I take that shit for value. What he said is so real. My people waiting for some cars that we never did. I've been praying for my uncle, standing talking to God. If we your chosen people. Then why is it so hard? Never understood, but I keep on striving for truth. But this hard flipping shit that you learn to you. So I'm learning what this learn got me all fucked up. To run through my future, do I keep it raw? One cut, another number, born in fury. Yeah, but this you right. Invest in trust in this town of fish. Big Joe Crane, I give a shout out to my people. They call me. Oh, my God. 
that damn mind. Ain't no sunshine. I give a shout out to my people. They come to read it and love me. I'm a transport from the house to the block.
and that's twin from the Majestic SBC. G Luke, it's always G Luke show. I'm staying on. I told you, I, you shouldn't have put me on. I'm gonna be on it like Rich, man. Remember when that Al Green got some Rich still on him? I'm gonna be on you right. like that, man. G Luke, shout out to you, dog, and I appreciate it, homie. And I'm going to tell a whole yeah, bunch of people about this, man. And I tell a whole bunch of people to get on there and talk about real life. Like real love and real things that's happening around in life. And low rise and in the community. And how you bringing it out to people that don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's, that's one right. thing. That's D. Lou, right. love you, my brother. Love you, really. What's cracking is your boy, OG Arabian Prince from the world's most dangerous group, NWA. I'm on a G New show with my home girl. Queen Jean, the sexy Queen Jean, G Luke, 247. Y'all come check this out once a week. You hear this once a week or every day? Once a week, every day. Get on the podcast, go check it out, go on the website, go on the social media, pump up the G New show, and Queen Jean. Arabian friends, back with a style of hype. Not slow and low, it's the fast type. Getting dumb, can you hit a drum? Yo, Dre, why don't you pump it up? And we're on news today. Officials decree that rapper Brad Jordan, alias Scarface, must be stopped. After being monitored by Secret Service agents for two years, evidence leads tobacco and firearms officials to believe that his literally dope lyrics promote drug usage and distribution, degrade women, influence gambling, promote and teach violence, and more importantly, it's influencing our minors and destroying our community. Officials say he's a lord of underground rap. Him and his music must be stopped. We got this whole motherfucker on the mission. Now the whole entire world has got to try to come up with the quick decision. They claim we threats to society. And now they're calling on the government to try to make somebody quiet. For the bullshit they done to me. Gangsta nip spice war in the Tupac never gave a gun to me. So gangsta rap ain't done shit for that. I've even seen white folks from River Oaks don't get to get. So why you trying to kick them dust up? America's always been known for blaming us niggas, but they fucked up. And we were always considered evil. Now they're trying to bust our only code of communicating with our people. Let's speak the game from a different angle. Matt Dillon pulled his pistol every time him when someone tangled. So why you criticize me for the shit that you see on your TV? That's freaks worse than PG. Just bring your ass to where they got me. So you can feel the hand of the dead body. Nigga don't believe that song. That nigga's wrong. Gangsters don't live that long. So now they try and separation And sending black folks and white coats to infiltrate our congregation Tapping into our conversation Taking the message that they get Bring forth wrong premeditation So David's got a silver man While listening to Brad David gets pissed and kills his dad David Duke's got a shotgun so why you get upset? Cause I got one. A chest kit, a task kit. A nigga got his ass kicked. Shot in the face by a cop closed casket. An open and shut situation. Cop gets got, they wanna blame it on my occupation. If you don't dig me, then nigga, you can shoot me. Cause the shit that I'll be saying ain't worse than no Western movie. Don't blame me, blame your man, got it. So you can feel the hand of the dead body. Nigga, don't believe that song. That nigga's wrong. You better free your mind before I free my nine and stop fucking with these void of pop or feel my hot rocks. Bang, bang, boom, boom, ping, ping, I'm the black. White boys got a magazine and don't know how to act. I attack and make your vomit. Down with Colin, I do my homage. Do we got a brother I make now? I'm the illest. Wanna kill this house, nigga, Don Cornelius? Can you feel this? You punk niggas make me sick. Sucking on the devil's dick, scared of revolution. Need to start douching. Houston is the place. I caught a case. The motherfuckers tried to put a scar on my face. But I bust two times. 
time to the guts, do the Reverend Calvin but got a pair of nuts, I started this gangsta shit in 86, now you're dissing me, for publicity, isn't he a hoe to the third degree, who me, I'm a G that like to scrap a lot, down with rap a lot, and I can't stop, won't stop, so fuck Bill and Hillary, Ice Cube, it ain't no killing me, Ice Cube, Scarface, dropping it on me, sell out ass niggas, doing it like niggas. Sounds get laid down on West Side Wednesdays, OG Sundays, Flashback Fridays. We're cruising with G. Lou, Fabulous, Low Rider Oldies. So just let me introduce myself. I'm Tweet Cadillac, baby. I took up all the Hennessy you got on your shelf. We got to keep it fly, P.I., and you know why. CD Harrison, chilling every Wednesday and Friday on the G. Lou Show with G. Lou and the wonderful Queen Jean. And on OG Sundays with Big Flossie and Hanks is a Gangster, be sure to tune in and take that vibe. You can find me on Instagram at dd underscore Harrison, that's H-A-I-R-S-P-O-N, or email me at ddharrison100 at gmail.com. Vibe, nigga. See some bitches, throw some trees and get high, nigga. Run up on my Lambo, 
that suicide nigga Pistol grip, pump on my lap at all times Hit the nigga Brian Brian rap, it probably sound like this Somewhere between Cube and Kiss, I can't miss Documentary, Dr. Zaz When niggas was really going platinum on the mask Executive produced by Dr. Dre, but that's the past But even now, you play with Dre's name, I'm on your ass Rolling on the 105. 105, I don't drink when I drive, I but I gotta do it high, blowing smoke in the sky, smoke in the sky. it's something you should try, something you should swear to God it's a vibe, got a on my side, pretty things by my side, uh, West Side Wednesdays in the after hours with G. Lou, I'm here doing what I do, what up to my people, let me go to the phone lines, call her if you're there, call her hello. Hey, dude, I fell asleep on you. God darn. Dang. <laughs> you fell asleep. Hello? How did you fall asleep on this show right here? I'm telling you, it was just that. That's why I said I was so pissed off. I was so into Damn. the show. Listen, that was a great show. And like 8.35, Man. I was out. I said, oh, was my God. There. Okay. So I'm definitely well, going to listen to the rest of that because that, that is an excellent show. Thank you, thank you. That's why we have the archive. So thank you, though. Thank you, exactly. thank you for the love. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yep, yep. I can't wait for you to get your box, by the way. Okay. It's on the way? Yeah, I sent you, this, I sent you a copy of the receipt showing you what okay, time it's okay. coming. Okay, but you cool, gotta call cool, me because cool. I gotta tell you about something about about one of the things in there. It's real important too. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Much love, Jane. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. Any shout outs okay, you want to give? Okay, much love to you, and I'm definitely gonna listen to our talk because I was really into that. Excellent, so what a good guest. Wow. Thank, thank you, thank you. Much love, and Jane. I'll, I'll know if, Queen Bean's still there, but I hope she's feeling better. Yeah, she's 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 not here anymore. She's she's off. But uh uh she'll hear and she'll hear talk, the message. Talk to talk to Dee Dee today too, so Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. I All righty. So. All right. Peace, Jane. Much love. West Side Wednesday at our show. To the Snoopy Badass, the Holly Ham, newly the new Mafia Dar, the Big Man Wolf. That's me. Yeah, huh? Feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'd like to give a shout out and a big thank you, a big appreciation for the G Lou Show. Tune in. From the heavens, we are all tiny creatures of the same God, surviving in the maze of our own habitat, the hood. When we grow up, many of us don't make it out. We perish before our talents reach our goal, and leave death for those who bury us. Yeah. Who will carry us but us? On my 2020 shit, leaving 2019. Digging in the scene with the gangster lean. Got a S class Benz and a caddy too clean. Two 12s in the trunk with the 12 inch screen. Looking like a player, but I really am a G. For the last 30 years, I've been banging BC. Started on La Brea off Pico at Vicente. Orange Avenue, where the West Side Crips play. Then we move east by the valley of the SG. Pasadena, Altadena, Al, and Rosby. They all know me. I'm politics the best. Nickname G. Louie, I personify the West. Commas in my check from the dollars I collect. Transition from the streets to an honorary vet. I'm a legend on the set, like the big homie Tweet. Brick City Boy Pop, what's the word on the streets? Trunk, with 9-9 with some BCG, 
jeans in the Cadillac smoking on some Vami tea. 2020 vision, now we're hoping to see all the homies come together, peace and unity. On our way to function, cause it's New Year's Eve at the homie Snow House with the rest of the G. Like the homie tweet, I got your front back in your side. Let the home girl sing while we dip in the ride. better way, many of us become comfortable and complacent with being basic and sidetracked by the material things that we chase. In our land, we fall short in the eyes of those who judge us, but shine bright in the hearts of those who love us. Year after year, new faces become attached to the fabric of our reality. There is always pain, but we learn to deceive ourselves and keep it dormant. As the days of our lives become burdened with the injustices of our struggles. Can't stop. Won't stop. If there was a geographical cure, I think we all choose a different destination. Yet, we find that all hoods are the same. Enriched with the hope that our children and their children will become much more than we are. And so much more than a name on the wall. If you fall, get back up with the speed of lightning. Let's not be frightened over that which can only make us stronger. I see the future and refuse to be held back by the past any longer. Say, nigga, bring me the big lighter, nigga. What's taking you so long, nigga, to flick me? Move something. Ratchet mouth, nine, six, eight, socket mouth, kick his mouth, hats on, play to his feet. And if a nigga get in my way, then I take their pipe, they monkey bridges, they water holes, and they can they like it, nigga. Robbery, nigga. For gold game. The fools at the motherfucking rock house, and I'm hoping one of y'all can help me out, see. My brother's a face head, and I gotta get them before this the dope name kill them. Kill them. Plus, he's making my mother cry. A little hard on y'all, and that shit ain't flawed. And even though we's the oldest, I gotta deal with his ass from the motherfucking shoulders. For hurting the family like this, that nigga gotta get dealt with. Motherfucker. Used to be sitting on soul, but now it's ass to sit that than a car and tenor. <laughs> Walking down the block with Miss Strawberry, smoking no nini and every thing that'll get a nigga blasted. He's still the curse. Plus, I done heard he been hitting up my neighbor for money. Running that bullshit drag about his car and I can't. Damn, this nigga must be 
weekend. Plus, I ain't seen them all weekend. But when I do, I'ma break that ass in half with this motherfucking baseball bat. And if all fails, I got an automatic. But I don't wanna kill them, I wanna kill a savage. Now, some may say I'm going about it the wrong way. But they don't stay, you're on my way. And if you ain't never had a family member doing this, then don't say shit. Cause I done try rehabilitation. But to this nigga, we can't say shit but vacation. So now I gotta do it my way, so y'all excuse the tactic. I'm trying to kill a habit. Cocaine. That's, that's what he lives for, cocaine. Never does he ever get any sleep. Just walk day in and day out. He'll chase that high all the time. Now I'm looking for my brother, pin him out, count us, rolling in a cookie clean house. But a nigga done searched all night, and this punk ass feeling in sight. Switched on a homie, what's up, nigga? Any one of y'all see my brother bailing around this motherfucker? They gon' point it down the block, that's all I needed to know, cause now I'm here to put a liquor store. Pulled in a liquor store parking lot, oh shit, somebody must have got shot. Cause all I seen was niggas in the crowd so deep. Heard a trap stick up in the street, so I went a little closer to see what it was all about. It's standing in the crowd That was my motherfucking brother But naked Doing the whop In the intersection Damn This shit had his ass so high After doing the whop The nigga broke into the robocop That's when I grabbed him Pulled him in a car Got out of Dodge Took him home Locked him in a garage Me and two Tied him up Cuffed him up Whopped him up I mean we fucked him up So y'all pay Y'all are screaming on mine And it's used the tactic I'm trying to kill a habit Welcome class to Basehead Anonymous We have a new friend with us here today would you please stand up and share with us? Yeah, watch out, y'all. Hey, yeah, well, what's up, y'all? My name is Willie Callaway. I'm an ex ex head. Hi, <laughs> Six months done passed and everything's cool. My brother done got a size back. Sitting on monster swole. Regretting that they give a fuck what they gave, yo. Now I'm saying with me and two feet. Until he's complete, standing back on his feet. Now my mother can smile again because she's proud again. No more smoking. He told us all he swole. We never ever catch him fucking with that shit no more. Two me and two got a call from D.C. And nigga, it's time to promote the new LP. So we packed our bags and hit the road for two weeks. Nigga, get comes back home for me. But when we got back home, my brother, my furniture, my motherfucking equipment was down. That nigga done smoked it all off and I ain't seen him since the swamp. I guess I have to learn the hard way. The only one to kill a habit is the one doing the crack. It's like a catch 22. What can you do when somebody so close continuously fucks you? Hey, yo, two, pass the strap. Y'all excuse the tactic. I gotta kill a habit. You're, you're had. That's it. You belong to the to the pipe. Mm. West Side Wednesdays, the G Lu show. I'm gonna send this one out to Baby Boo Boo. What's up, baby? I'm in the studio. Think about you. <laughs> West Side Wednesday, the G Loop Show. I'm in the after hours, man. Don't mind me. I done had a couple. I'm just sitting in the studio just trying to get to you, baby. But the song's so fucking dope, girl. It's hard not for me to play. There was two for she was you in the book that I would play. So I'm just sitting in the studio just trying to get to you, baby. See, I've been in the studio just trying to get to you, baby. On ain't laying verses, though, I'd rather lay with you, baby. Bro and panties matching nail and told you what kind of lady. Angel out of heaven, such a goddess, have a nigga pray. I'm just sitting in the studio, just trying to get to you, baby. But the song's so fucking dope, girl, it's hard not for me to play. Tell the truth, the shit was you in this booth that I was playing. So I'm just sitting in the studio just trying to get to you. You need a real nigga shouty, so come in, throw that pussy shouty. See, I think you and me can make it. This little verse will get you naked. See, your heart ain't meant for breaking. Cupid's never been mistaken. See, I've been caught up in the moment. Said my type ain't quite a type, but now this gangsta nigga own it. She can twist my weed and hit the yak. I can hit your type without the hat. Put that pussy on the map. I see qualities in a bad girl. I know that ass you got come with attitude in your swag, girl. You ain't wrong, girl. 
Just when that door knock, lose your thong, girl. Cause your girl, cause your girl, girl, cause your girl, girl, cause your girl. I'm just sitting in the studio, just trying to get to you, baby. But the song's so fucking dope, girl, it's hard not for me to play. Tell the truth, the shit was you in this booth that I was blazing. So I'm just sitting in the studio, just trying to get to you. Throw a low your pussy, girl, you knowin' that your nigga faded. Uh. Can I hit that pussy way I wanna why this record play? Uh. Put my tongue in different places, play a game of operation. Uh. Like, na 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 you get what I'm saying? <laughs> no metaphors, nothing like that. I'm keeping it straight to the point with you, 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 you. Come on. So, I'm gonna put this dick up off inside of you. you, you, you. Okay. I'm okay. I'm sitting in the studio just trying to get to you, baby. Westside Wednesday. But the song's so fucking dope, girl, it's hard not for me to play. Tell the truth, the shit was you in this booth that I was playing. So I'm just sitting in the studio just trying to get to you. I'm just sitting in the studio just trying to get to you. But the song's so fucking dope, girl, it's hard not for me to play. Okay. Okay. This is the after hours of the G Show. B Ali, what up though, boy? Tweet Cadillac. Shout out to the Rev Ali. Shout out to uh, Big Snow Bizzle. What up, Snow West Side Car Club? Shout out to my homeboy Shay Loke down in the A. What up, yeah, boy? If you ain't careful, you're going to get caught with on this one. <laughs> hey, what's up, little buddy? What's up, little buddy? What's up, little buddy? Have you ever heard of Have you ever heard of music? Unhappy home, so that shit, I'm a veteran And then creek on my left arm, she screaming, I should come on me Her husband gone for two, three hours, she like I'm a kid Rolling up that bubble cushion, purple midget mac and sweet Pick it up, I tilt it, drop it off on mac and feet Music in my body, the beat will get the best of me Baby, you get lucky, later on you'll get what's left of me Greedy is a secret, you cannot have the recipe Mary is my breakfast, and for lunch I'm eating melanin The two of us together, will not let it get bittersweet She was always sweet to me, I appreciate the thing, yeah That she do to make the muscles move like that see-through Light blue like a water pool, damn I know the streets will hold me down Glenwood Road, that's forever Been my stomping ground Leaning on the wall The fountains down by underground Later on tonight Go down like a shot of crown Bodies in the box Pictures of the Quavo Six four inches tall With an ass like J-Lo Bring it back, yo Let me get my max flow Kill a nigga track Break a bitch, hold back flow You know I'm on, nigga You can hear it in my voice Between the sheets flow to get the pussy moist I like a special choice I like them with the major nines Light skin, nice tan with the big thighs Go 
coming, baby, let me break it down slow. It's the G L E Dub coming back, swan some more. With a purple bag of Lakers cushion, rip me XO. Couple double stacks and have your lady crawling on the floor. It's a thousand dollar flow with a million dollar game. Mouthpiece, known to get on sprung like T Pain. Got a full pool fussel, so I'm guaranteed pay. With a fully loaded K to shoot 47 ways. Chilling in the A with the OMG team. Money bags got the smoke, shades low, got the cream. Vibing to the records that the DJ spins. In the VIP, chilling with our lady friends. Feeling real good, cause they playing our song. Bring me Martin in my cup, seven grams worth of strong. We can get it on, I can put it on your good. Bring you straight to the hills, far away from the hood. I'm a boss like shoe, but my favorite color blue. I got OG status, baby, so I stay true. Hey, check it out. It's G. Lou, the G. Lou Show, the After Hours. I'm not going to leave you empty-handed, but I'm about to get up out of here. Much love to everybody. Check us out Friday night. We will be back Westside Wednesdays. Ladies, <laughs> check me out. Hey, what's up, baby? It's G. Lou. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, check this out, right? I got this little love letter I wrote for you. This is Valentine's Day. I want to give it to you, baby. Check me out right here. <laughs> yeah. When I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall until I pick up the phone and have to make that call. Think about your pretty ass and them G-string draws. How I hit it from the back and how you climbing the wall. How I used to take you out, bring you around the fellas. Till them niggas started hating, yeah, them niggas was jealous. Could never tell us nothing, all the fighting and fussing. Made the sex more better when we got to fucking. You know a nigga straight thugging, girl, I'm gangsta Lou. Served out of L.A., California, claim Florida too. Smoke weed every day, but I'm high off you. The way you suck a nigga down, you got me fiending for you I love your ruby red lips, sweet face and all Think about it, then my dick grows ten feet tall I watch the sun rise when I look in your eyes Hit that pussy so hard till you become paralyzed Our bodies explode, it's like an ecstasy feel Your booty soft as a pillow, my dick is hard as steel It's like a dreamland, I fuck around and take you there This'll be a good experience that me and you can share I beat it till it's sleep, cold, sweaty and wet I swear to you, this is something you will never forget I need love I need love <laughs> I need love baby and I hope you need it too It's G. Lou My love letter to you Happy Valentine's Day Let's make it last forever <laughs> OG That part Like that, like that, like that. The swans are bounty hunters to call your number. Roll the 30s and 20 outlaw sisters from to put you under. Cabbage patch, center park, Carver Park, Athens Park, too. Scott's down never hook off the waterfront. All power rules, LA to Valang. This one with Pasadena.